So we just finished our series with Atletico Madrid. And just like the Roma, I'm going to turn it into a full movie. The goal of the series, of course, was to win La Liga and the Champions League. If you haven't yet seen it, then enjoy the next two and a half hours. It was a good one. Atletico Madrid avoids being the second best team in La Liga to Barcelona and Real Madrid. But two seasons back, they actually did win La Liga title. They have made three Champions League finals in their history, but sadly they lost all three of them. And two of those were to rivals Real Madrid. Diego Simeone has been their manager for over 12 years now and has really made a name for himself for being a defensive coach. So of course, we will be using him as the manager. So the goal of this series is to make Atletico Madrid the champion champion to Spain and also Europe. But we do have some transfer restrictions to make it more challenging. We can only spend a max of 40 million euros per player. We can only sign three players in the summer window and one in the January. And at the start of season one, our budget is 86 million euros. As you guys can see, we have a brand new home care as I really wasn't a fan of the one they had IRL. It just wasn't it. But of course, the team right now is set up with that famous Diego Simononi 4-4-2 with the defensive tactics, which we will be using in this series. I am so excited for this one because we have so many amazing players like Lorene on the right. His stats are perfect to play literally anywhere. Rasco on the left hand side. Griezmann is had a little bit off a boost. 87 overall right now because he is incredible IRL. And of course, Leo Messi's bodyguard. De Paul. this guy is not going to be messing around. And we have one of the best keepers in goal for the last five years. We have Jan Oblak. This guy's incredible. So as always, you guys need to get down in the comment section and put your transfer suggestions. Of course, we have 86 million euros to spend, three signings in the summer window, and probably the player who's most linked with signing with Atletico right now is Roberto Firmino from Liverpool. 30, he's Brazilian, probably around 83, 84 overall. He's a very good player and would be a very good signing. We do have a few strikers like Griezmann and Correa, also Morata and Depay, but I feel Morata is probably a player that we could sell. He's got decent pace and shooting, but he's now 29 and he is Morata. So therefore, we're going to put this guy on the transfer list. Oh, don't forget, yeah, we actually have Jao Felix, who is at Chelsea. I mean, you guys are going to want me to recall him. Also, Mateus Cunha, who is at Wolverhampton. Atletico Madrid have loads of strikers. Lodi, who is at Nottingham Forest as well. Phil he'd be good to recall. But I feel Depay would be a good player to play on the left-hand side. As you can see, actually doesn't get a negative rating there, and he doesn't get a warning. Whereas if we play him at center forward or striker, then he does. So I'm going to say he's a backup left winger, or he may even just start there. If we take a look at the defense, we have a good left back, good center back. Safik is good. 84 overall, but he is now 31. I feel we could get a better center back. And we have this Molina at right back. 79 overall is 24, so he probably has some decent potential. When it comes to signing a new center back, we could go in for Sule from Dortmund. This guy's 85 overall, 26, and it looks like his contract is expiring because we could get him between 33 and 42 million. So that is under 40 million. Or maybe Perry Torres from Real. This guy is La Liga proven. And again, looks like his contract is expiring we could probably get him for like 31 million. But if we want to sign players who would work great for Diego Simeone, then Christian Romero probably is the best option for centre-back. 24, Argentine, and this guy doesn't stand for anything. He goes straight into a tackle. You guys are probably wondering, why are you doing an Atletico Madrid career mode? Dortmund won the vote with 54%. Well, Atletico were winning in the poll by about 5% when I was preparing this series and making the new home kit. And then Bottle Job FC had to go and do what they did did in the Farmers League, and then everyone voted for Dortmund. So after this series, if you guys want to see Dortmund, let me know in the comments. If you're new, by the way, subscribe and leave the video a like. We have a transfer offer for Morata here from Severe. 21.6 million. He's worth 19. So I'm wondering if he has like one year, two years left on his contract here. Let's try to get 24 million. That's a decent fee. And they straight up say yes. So is that a good deal or not? Ooh, another transfer offer here. Condobia Juventus, 18.6. I really do feel we need this guy. He's a good Center midfielder and CDM defensively very good. So we're going to reject that. So it is official. Morata is off to severe 24 million. Was it a good deal? It is. We get an A. And we now actually have a scout report back for Roberto Firmino. And we could get him for under 20 million because his contract is expiring. So let's go in with 19 million. Straight in. They should say yes. And they do. Yeah, I can Klopp is happy with that. Okay. Will he take a rotation? That is the question. He wants important. I wasn't expecting that to be fair. 
110k a week. That is a lot. A two-year deal. Is he happy with that? He is. So when it comes to the wages, probably 160k. Would you guys say that is what they'd pay? 300k signing on bonus. He definitely will say yes there, and he does. I'm really going to try and get this guy involved in this series. That home kit is so nice, by the way. So Murata out. Firmino in. There he is on the bench. He has okay pace, okay shooting, really good dribbling. They're really not the stats you'd want for someone playing center forward a striker. Only 76 finishing. So if we played like a cam roll, he would actually suit that and he would get a plus one. So that's probably his best position. We do actually have a scout report back for Christian Romero now. 38 to 48 million. So it would be hard to get him under 40 million. We could maybe swap Savage in the deal. That could possibly work. So for now, I'm not actually going to put Savage on the transfer list. Going to leave it. Wait for you guys to get your comments down below. Okay, I did not expect this. Real Madrid won Antoine Griezmann for 57 million. Absolutely not. To be fair, right now we have Regulon on loan from Spurs. I'm going to terminate this loan because he's not going to be a starter. He'll probably get recalled. So therefore, we'll recall Lottie from Nottingham Forest. With a squad this strong, I feel like our expectations for the season should be a title race in La Liga. If we don't get top four, sack me. That's embarrassing. And to be fair, in the Champions League, I'm aiming really high. I feel we should be reaching a semi-final. We're challenging in that as well. And I want to make sure we win the Copa de España. I want silverware this season. And as you can see from this graphic, this is where we finish this season. What our kits will be next season. For example, if we finish fifth, which we should get sacked, we have Chevrolet as a sponsor. Nike is the kit maker. Fourth, Puma and Yokohama. Third, Nike and Wellfin. So basically the same. Second, Adidas and Emirates. And first, Nike Air Jordan and Amazon. That would be amazing. Let me know down below in the comments which kit would be your favorite next season. And I know you guys are going to suggest it. All the comments will be Recall Jao Felix, 1.1 million. It is a lot, but we will do it. I feel like we've got a million set of forwards in this side. I mean, how on earth do we even fit him on the bench? He's going to have to go on there for Sal. Hi, right, so I've just noticed if you convert Griezmann and Correa to a center forward, they actually go up in overall. Correa was 83 and is now 85. So I think it just works if we play two set of forwards up top. And it's easier to just rotate. Depay, Felix, even Firmino could play at top and not get a negative rating. Molina is our starting right back, but Doherty is the backup. And he isn't actually on loan from Spurs. He's a permanent signing. Let me know in the comments. Do we need to sign a better backup right back or maybe a better starting right back? Now, we're approaching first game of the season and Koke actually comes to speak to Diego Simeone saying, boss, we're ready and fired up for this first game of the season in La Liga. We want to entertain and don't want to disappoint. And Diego responds saying, that's what we like to hear from you, Koke. As captain, I want you to fire up this side, get them playing well. And as always, I want you to be reckless in the tackles. And our first opponent happens to be Mallorca. And this is the side they're playing. It's a five back, four in midfield, one up front. And of course, for us, it's the famous 4-4-2. How do we line up, though? Do we start Felix, Depay, perhaps even Lodi at left back? I'm not sure. I'd probably think this is the best way to line up for now because they have the best sharpness. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, we do play an ultimate difficulty, so we're not messing about around here. Obviously, we're playing Spanish football, so I feel we should be moving the ball around nicely, passing it, keeping it on the ground. Here's a counter-attack early on. We're just going to whip this one in the box. That's a decent ball, to be fair. Can DePaul win this header? No, he can't. Oh, here's an opportunity for Mallorca here. Good tackle. Corner. So far, we haven't really done anything, and they've had the majority of the ball. So we need to change this up. Yes, now wide to the right back. Nice bit of play. I feel Griezmann's going to be a massive player in this series. There's an overlap there from the right back again. Beautiful bit of play. Now back to Lorena. Edge of box there. Here's Koke. Long shot on his right. Why did we go for that? Oh, no. Here's the ball slipped through. Number seven across the box. I don't believe it. It's onside as well. Just before the break. This is a terrible first game. What are we doing? Horrendous defense there. The guy with the ponytail puts it across. And there's not a chance he misses that one. Well, that's a shot. Oh, no. What a way to start off the second half. It's the guy who got the assist at the end of the first half. It's 2-0. This is not a way to start off the season. What a terrible start. That, that's a goal. I mean, you should be saving that. It's correct. Slips that out wide there for Lorena. I think we need to change the instructions of the center forwards, to be fair, because they're just not doing anything. We chip that up into the box. Just nothing, man. Correa takes it down. Now I pass that. Go on. Oh, I couldn't get the finish off. Okay, we have 15 minutes to actually 
actually turn this game around. I've changed the tactics. I've told everybody to get forward. That's a run in behind there for Griezmann. Someone's offside. There's a foul. Why's the referee stop that? Okay, we can build it up from here. That's a pass there to Correa. Now wide to Lorene. Now the right back. Options in the box. Back post there. Good stuff to Pai. Now in the box to Paul. Couldn't finish it. Out to Lorene though. Correa turns his man. Back in the box. Keeps it nicely. Griezmann smash it near post. I tell you what, Mallorca have really defended well in this one. Oh, that's an interception. You like to see it. Griezmann turns his man. The pie making the run. Ball over the top. Good stuff. Go and put it across the box. Oh, that's what we should have done in the first half. Get the ball. It took us 86 minutes to create a fantastic opportunity. To pie game changer. Great player to bring on. Grabs himself an assist. Did we bring on Felix? Probably not. If we want to get an equalizer, we need to win the ball back here and score. Griezmann, make the run. Oh, he is making a good run. We go over the top. Griezmann, win the header. He does. Oh, we've got a corner. Okay, one minute added on. We need to score this as we get nothing from this game. Correa gets this one back post. Oh, no, we could have got a head on that. Depay, it's cleared. Referee's going to blow it. What a terrible first game. We only started playing in the last five minutes. After that first one, we're definitely going to have to change some of our tactics here. We have pressure on heavy touch. I'm just going to say press after possession lock. And for offensive play, probably slow build up possession, maybe forward runs. We'll go for forward runs, why not? And we need to get more people in the box. Right now, we do have 111 euros left to spend. And we currently have three centre backs on the transfer list Christian Romero, Peo Torres, and Saul. I mean, Christian Romero would be the favourite option for me, but he's got up one more in overall to 84. So now he's 50 to 62 million. The best option is probably Nicholas Saul, I have you say his name, because we can get him on the cheap 26 85 overall solid center back so do continue to get your suggestions down below we now have athletic club second game of the season so far we have a few tired players and guys we have to be winning this game what i mean have to be winning it we have to be winning it i don't want to play up like a center back correct did score the only goal last game but he's time for this one so we're going to bring in dubai who was the player who got the assist oh no that's a ball in the box oh, they are what another we doing we're meant to be good defensively oh it's ander herrera i tell you what this is some really good play from them i mean it's good strength from that player and the header and what are we doing i mean they're spreading the ball all over the pitches and herrera again tries to make the pass we get a semi tackle corner to them now i tell you what if we get two losses in a row it's really not sending good signs is it that we could be in a title race a potential penalty now so we go to var our first var off the series ball comes in oh great that's a pen why on earth is your hand up there by your face it comes in, it hits it. That's just terrible. What on earth is he doing? What a way to start off this series. Please save this. Yes, he goes to the right. We save it. Get in. Corner whipped in. Don't go concede this now. Ball still up. Ball still up. Keepers on it. Right, here comes Lorene. Oh, okay. He's beat his man there. That's good. Just going to loft it over the top there for Griezmann. Head is it down. Perhaps not. Okay. Oh, we've got a free kick. Edge of box. We're good at these. I don't like left-footed players from them, though. So, is Depay actually good at them? Griezmann's got 86. Depay's got 83. But I want a right-footed player from one of these now. He's going to get a decent amount of power. He's going to go over the wall like that. Depay always hit the post, man. I did think that was too wide. Carrasco. Yeah, Depay. He's lost his marker. Ball whip 10 keepers on it. Okay, we're going to get back in this. That's a nice header. Depay chips that over the top there for Griezmann. Good touch. The finish. We're back in it. Okay, that's the goal. Oh, no. We've got to cope this entire series of him doing silly celebrations. Good assist, Depay. I mean, he has to start. He is very good. His second assist in two games. Griezmann is going to score a lot of goals as well. And these replays, they take about six years. Oh, that's a nice tackle. Yeah, okay. Let's go get that uh, second goal. Carrasco coming forward. You know what? Carrasco. I'm feeling it. Pass shot. Left foot. Oh, no way. How on earth has that got in? What a goal on his left foot. Go on, show us the replay. Is this going to take about a century as well? On his left foot. Hits it. Look at that. That is a goal and a half. 2-1. We're back in it. Oh, we're in the lead. Oh, that's an interception. Okay, we're all over them now. Look at this little dink there for Griezmann. Is he going to take it down? He does. That's why nope. Griezmann, oh, what a save by the keeper. I mean, we're all over Bill Bauer now. Get this ball in the box to Pai. Is he going to get himself another assist? Comes out to Depaul. Okay, 
Carrasco is in a nice position. Dink that in the box. The pie header. We're all over them. We really are. We're going to keep this ball now. We're not going to let it go. And we want that third goal. Is Koke. That's a nice pass there to Depay. Lorene gets the ball in the box. Griezmann, good touch. The finish. Still got it. Out wide there. Carrasco smashes it. Nope. Low Griezmann. Oh, good save. It's <laughs> loose. Depay. How on earth has that not gone in, man? Here's Depay now. I mean, another pass shot perhaps on his right foot. Yeah, that's um, probably not put that in. He's Muniai on the ball. What are we doing defensively there? He's always going to slip that ball through. Come on, get the tackle in. Slide in there. Oh, come on, Diego Simonone. Sean Deitch. Griezmann making the run over the top. Come on, how's your touch on his head? Good stuff Ooh. on his left foot. That is not the finish I expected. Oh, nope. oh, what a save. Okay, we have a world-class goalkeeper in goal. Is he LaFont, though? That, that's the question. If you know, you know. Oh, no. No, no, not another penalty. Are you kidding me? This left back loves a good old handball, doesn't he? Look at this. Oh, no, is it the same thing? Don't tell me it's the same thing. So the ball comes in. He goes to header it. He kind of uses his shoulder. Yeah, that's not a handball. Sometimes the game thinks his shoulder is his hand. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, he's messed that up. Come on, playing out the back. Akamata. Ooh, okay, I have 10 minutes here to get a win. A point would just be horrible. Oh, no, that's a ball out wide there to Saar. Here's Saar goes for the shot. Nice tackle, Jimenez. Now we have DePaul on the ball. Nice passing out the back here. Good stuff. Good football. Now Griezmann. Oh, nice sliding tackle there. Griezmann coming forward now. Depay making the run over the top. Ball over the top. Takes it down. The third nope. goal. Oh, what a save. Moments left of this one. Referee blow it. Give us the three points. There there we go. That's the one in the bag. So I think we've established Memphis Depay has to get into this side, but Correa has also been very good. So I think Carrasco is the player that gets dropped for now. I mean, he's got very good stats. He's very quick, but Depay on the left-hand side just makes sense right now. This is our Champions League group stage for the season. We're playing Porto Leverkusen and Club Brugge. That's a very fun group stage. It's challenging. We could actually get knocked out of that. I'm pretty sure Atletico did IRL, right? But I said the goal this season in the UCL is to reach the semi-final. Can we do that? A tough opponent here. Villarreal, our first real hard opponent in the league. I mean, respect to Athletic Bilbao. But these guys actually have a good side. We're just going to line up like that. We've got a full strength side, full fit. I feel that first game was a bit like us, Argentina, World Cup. Give us a bit of a wake up. What were we doing defensively? We're capable of scoring goals going forward. Got the players. We're very good. Is Griezmann onto that left foot. Long shot there. What was that? He really did lean back on that one. Oh, that's a nice tackle there. Massive tackle. Now to Depay. Nice forward pass there to Correa. Griezmann making the run over the top. He is on side. As he touch, good stuff. Is he going to pull it back? He is. Okay, he's kept it. Now I've got DePaul out wide. Nice pass out wide. The right back. Okay. We, we can move the ball well. It's just, what do we create whilst doing it? Nice back hill there. Griezmann, is he on side? Oh, he's at the post and he was on side. Okay, here's Whee. the left back out wide there to Koke. Oh, that's a ball in behind there. Jared Moreno, if it's anyone to score, probably will be him. He's a very good striker. That's a nice pass. The shot, good save. Can we actually make Oblak like number one, by the way? What, what's number 13 all about? Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Maybe there's a story behind that. Here's Griezmann on the left-hand side. Pass there to Depay. Now wide there to Koke. Overlapping run by the right back. Good stuff. Coming into the box. Nope. I tell you what, we're, we're building up the ball nicely. We've got some good overlapping runs. Oh, that's a ball in behind. Here's an overlapping run here for Barriel. They get it in the box. Come on, mark up your man across the box. Nice defense. Oh, that's a bad pass in midfield. Can we punish them for that? Memphis to pipe. Maybe another pass <coughs> shot there. That is right in someone's face. Yeah, sorry about that. Now here's DePaul in the box. Nice pass to nope. Pye. What a save. So we played well in the first half, but just didn't get that goal. So we don't want to have one of them performances where we play well, just don't score. Here's DePaul out wide. We've got Lorene back post. We whip it in. Good defense. Oh, nice bit of build-up play here. Beautiful passing. Lorene now out wide there to the overlapping right back. Back into the box. Lorene, handball. Referee says no. Doesn't want to know about it. And this guy's offside. Great. Okay, that's a nice run there, Correa. If we play it over the top, you can actually win that. Get in behind. Surely this is the goal now. Angel Correa. Oh, no. What was that? That was not the finish. I was trying to go far post. Not near. Nice pass there to Depaul on the ball. Now wide to Lorene. 
the Rene. Oh, fantastic. Now back into the nope. box, Griezmann. Okay, seven minutes left to play now. We've brought on a couple of subs. Griezmann's off the pitch. Felix is on. Firmino's at camp. Go on, get into that tackle there. Yes, he did win the ball. Just don't lose this game. A point. We'll take that. Just don't lose it. John Marino, the pass. Good defense. Headed away. We've got moments left. Our very last counterattack of the game. Correa. Now we've got Tamar Lamar on the ball. Felix, slip that there. Oh, what was that for a pass? That's a chancy player quality pass that was. You get a point. After three games, we find ourselves eighth in the league with one win, one draw, and a loss. Already five points away from top of the league. I mean, this side has shown a bit of everything so far. It can be inconsistent. It can create a lot of opportunities, but just not finish them. Last episode, we started a brand new career mode with Atletico Madrid, and we brought in our very first signing to the club, which is Roberto Firmino from Liverpool. The squad is looking extremely strong. We're rocking a 4-4-2 with Griezmann and Correa up top. These two set of forwards are very good. Now, our right centre-back, Safik, is 84 overall, but he is now 31, so it's getting on, and I mentioned we could sign a new centre-back. Now, I do have three suggestions on the shortlist. The first being Nicolas Sule from Dortmund. 85 overall, 26, and we could get him on the cheap, as his contract is running down. Same as Pedro Torres. He's 83 overall at 20 from Villarreal. Now, my favorite option is actually from the Premier League. It's Christian Romero from Tottenham. 84 overall. We could get this guy between 50 and 60 million. And he's Argentine. So this guy fits in well with Diogo Simeone. And this guy loves to tackle. We have 112 million euros to spend. But guys, don't forget, we can only spend 40 million maximum per player. So we'd probably have to swap Savage in the deal. And to be fair, I'm looking at him. He's 31, 84 overall at 13 and a half million. That is not a good valuation. This two suggests we play a 4-4-1-1 and play Griezmann as a cam as he played down the wild card. So it basically looked like this. With Griezmann as a cam, Carrera as a center forward. I've had to customize it so I can still get Carrera as a center forward. To be fair, I actually feel this would work a whole lot better than just the 4-4-2 because we are struggling to finish chances. We're creating them, but it seems a bit awkward and I feel a cam would fix that. This guy suggests we use a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2. Ooh, I could see this formation working really well. A lot of you guys suggest we actually play Lorene as a right back. Look at his stats. He can play literally anywhere. So as a right wing back in a system like this, he could work perfectly. He could even just slip into the midfield. After three games in La Liga, we're currently eighth. One win, one draw, one loss. We're definitely going to have to change something up. Because as I said, we're creating good opportunities, but we're just not finishing them. Our first game was a 2-1 loss against Mallorca. Then we beat Bilbao 2-1. And then we got a 0-0 draw to be a Real. But in that Bilbao game, you need to check out this screen from Carrasco. Carrasco coming forward. You know what? Carrasco. I'm feeling it. Pass shot. Left foot. Oh, no way. How on earth has that got in? I think we're just going to put an offer in for a center back now. Christian Romero. Can we actually swap Safik plus the money and still get Spurs to accept? To be fair, we could swap Hermoso. Safik, he's not really going to go down in rating, is he? And Hermoso's worth more. And I doubt Hermoso is going to end up being higher rated than Savic next season. So therefore, we'll put Hermoso in the deal and put 40 million. That is the max we can. And we're going to have to put a salon clause off probably 20%. Are they going to accept that or not? They straight up say yes. I did not expect that. Get in. Vamos. That is fantastic. Currently on 140k a week. So we'll bump that up to 160. Spurs haven't got UCL football next season. So this guy may even want to leave. Number three, Romero. There we go. And the new Athletic Gold Madrid show we made. Oh, this guy's going to be a fantastic signing. So there we go. Romero is in for Safik. Jimenez and Romero, both center backs. They're not slow. Both in the 70s with pace. This guy's going to be a fantastic center back. I've converted Kondogbia to a center back because you guys said if you do that, it will go up a rating. And he has. He's now 83. But to be fair, we actually have enough center backs to play a five back. So we've got 70 million euros left to spend. And in the summer window, we have a limit of three signings we can make. We've made two so far. And this guy's suggesting we sign Diego Delo, a young right back, good potential, fits Simeone's defensive system. I like this suggestion. He's currently at United probably 80 overall starts off at 86 potential I think he has. So we're just going to go straight in for him because we have Doherty 
adds a right back. And that other guy, Montiel, that's his name. So if we swap Doherty, because I don't really want this guy, and then go in with, I don't know, 25 million and add a 10% Salon clause, we're not going to be selling him anyway. They want 40 million plus Doherty. That is a lot of money. I don't really want to be paying that much. How about 31? 15% Salon clause. What are you going to say to that? 35, okay, they're coming down. In fact, I don't really mind if we overpay for this guy. I just want to sign him. So 32 and a half million. That's a lot. Plus Doherty, they accept it. That's definitely not going to be an A, probably a C or a D. Important first team player, or is he going to want crucial? Important, that's fine. Question is, if we play that five back, would Lorene start over him or would we start Delon? And then what do we do with Molina? 130k a week. That should do the job here, and it does. And the moment of truth, what is the game going to rate this? It's an A. So we've actually done a pretty good deal. So we now can just skip over transfer deadline day. We've made our three signings. And we now have 34 million euros left for January. And our first game is Real Sociedad in this episode. And as you can see, they've got a pretty strong squad. We're going to go out with the 4-4-1-1 in this game. I want to try this. It's pretty much the same as the 4-4-2, but with a cam and a center forward instead of two center forwards. And of course, this is Ramiro's and Delo's debut. Oh no, that's a ball slip through there. Here's Real Sociedad. Big chance across the box. Oh no, it's deflected in. Oh, the terrible defending continues in episode two. What is this music? I mean, they're having a rave every time they score a goal. Is that Moreno? It's a pretty good play, to be fair. Nice assist. Gets it across. Just deflects off the center back, man. Oh, we're passing them the ball. We're actually passing them the ball. Good tackle, Romero. Here comes Memphis to pie. He's got the speed. Slips that in behind there for Correa. Goes around the keeper. Goes down. I think the keeper got the ball, though. It's so just difficult to go around the keeper in, in FIFA. Slips that in behind there for Griezmann. He has to be finishing this. We're not creating enough of those opportunities. We slip it in behind, and if it's a quality player like Griezmann or Correa or anyone in the side, you have to be scoring that. And I feel that is what the cam will offer. Yes, Griezmann, it's the cam. He scored the goal, but it's just the shape of the system. Ooh! What are we doing there, man? Oh, our defense is hazardous. Is that even a word? Okay, second half. It's 1-1. We need to go find that second goal, the third goal. Just get the three points. The Champions League coming up after this as well. Okay, some nice passing here. Griezmann now on the ball. Nice touch. Gets that wide for Lorene. Good touch. Now gets it back in the box. That was terrible. That was really bad. Oh, that's a long shot <laughs> there. Oh, good save. That was going in as well. Slips that in behind. Fangal Correa back to Lorene. Oh, Memphis Depay back post. We get the ball in. Headed away. Comes to the left back. Left back to Depay. Nice bit of play. Koke. Bend it from there. Good save. Rebound in the box. Lorene across. Now Delo. Now Lorene. Hits it on nope. his left. What a save. Okay. We've got a couple of changes coming on. Lamar and Jao Felix. Someone header this in, please. Comes at your box there, Depay. Okay. Nice touch. Couldn't finish it. Comes straight back to him. The finish. Oh, what a save. Oh, this is probably one of the final counter attacks of the game. Good opportunity for them. Nice defense. I thought that was a handball in there somewhere. Now here comes Lorene. Our last opportunity to win it now. Lorene to Felix. Now we've got Koke back out wide. Look at that space there for Griezmann. Chips it up to him. That's where Griezmann get in. What a goal. His second goal of the game. Three points in the back. This is why we love football. Check out that assist. The touch. The finish. Man, we are lacking these opportunities. We have the ball a lot in the final third. We're just not using it well enough. Now, this is that UCL group, of course. Porto, Leverkusen, and Club Brugge. And now we have Porto, which is our first game. Don't forget our expectations or our goals for the season. I want to be in a title race in La Liga. I want to reach the semi-final in the Champions League and win a cup. So in a game like this, we can't be messing around. Do we play Safi Hukon Dogbe? I mean, Safi has better fitness. Get Lodi in there as well. He needs to play more. These are the games we need to be rotating our forward. So Felix as a striker. And we'll get Roberto Firmino there at number 10. And I've just converted him to a cam, and he actually goes up by one rating. Oh, we kick things off with a penalty here. Is Carrasco the best taker? I think he is. He's got 79 pens, so we're just going to smash this. Top left-hand corner. Keeper dive the wrong way. He went down the middle. What on earth do you mean? I didn't do that. We can't be missing pens in games like this. This has to be a goal. Joe Felix, come on. Yes, that is a fantastic finish. I was hoping he wasn't going to act like a Chelsea player there. Couldn't hit a boat to water, but that was a good finish. Oh, and just 
like that. We're in the 89th minute. Fantastic. One last opportunity, and they pass it to us. No, nope. still not gone. Good save. This has happened before. I've got like seven highlights in the last minute of the game. They whip a corner in there. Good header away. Still not gone. Still got it. This player's on side. He's going to make that pass there. He's going to take a shot. Good save. And that is full time. Just a 1-0 win, but that's three points in the back. We now have Espanyol in La Liga. We get a 3-0 win. Griezmann, Carrera, and Carrera again. Retafe away from home now. A 2-1 win. Savic picking up an injury. That better not be for long. Carrera again. Carrera with a brace again. This guy's going to score so many goals. You have them certain players who score loads of goals when you sim games. So in five appearances, he has five goals. Four and six for Griezmann, but three assists. I mean, that is very good. Now, Rayo Vallecano at home. A 4-1 win. Diego De Lo, Griezmann, Lorene, and Romero. So we sure are picking up form in the league now. Yet we are still five points away from Real Madrid. They haven't lost a game so far. 21 points. So we now have Leverkusen. Second game in the group. And as you can see, they have a very, very good squad. Midfield, defense, attack. I do have a couple of complaints in the emails from players like Axel Whittle, for example. It's not starting. So we're going to have to play him in this one. Even though it's a CDM. And he can't even play that position. Kraska on the left again. And you know what? We're going to start Joe Felix up top. I feel he did well last game. Oh, no. Look at this. Whoa. Ooh, that could have been 1-0 there. They actually got good contact on the ball. I feel Felix and Griezmann's going to be a good connection at Cam and center forward. That's a run out wide there for Carrasco. That's an interception, though. Here's Witzel. Oh, that's a nice ball out wide there for Carrasco. Carrasco cuts inside. Carrasco plays it in behind there for Jao Felix. Jao Felix back to Carrasco. That was not the play to make, was it? I should have just continued the solo run, but here's Diaby in behind. Oh, we know how quick this guy is. One of the quickest players in the game. Oh, look at that. What a save. Ooh, look at that. Feisty. He's going to send him off, isn't he? Is it? <laughs> He's sending him off. Oh, head to the door. He's got a little bit irritated there, hasn't he? Look at that. He loses the ball and then goes and does that. Fair enough. Diogo Simeone would be proud. John Dyke, 4 4 2. The second half. We've got Lorene on now for Witzel. Lorene, what a player. He can just literally play anywhere. We're at 80 depth. I've got all the instructions for players to get in the box as they're at 10 men and we want to win this game. What a ball out wide there. Please get that. That is fantastic. Score this goal. Oh, what was that? That went have been just fantastic. Lorene, now Griezmann. He's got a left foot. Hits nope. it. Ah. To be fair, I should be using power shots more often in positions like that. Felix is in a nice position. Smash it near. Pogs, there we go. Oh, the second half. I'm telling you, we may even score four goals. They have been terrible. Since we kicked things off in the second half, they've been so exposed. And we're going to get so many people forward. Right, that's a tackle that. Jao Felix now. Griezmann, please be on side. Jao Felix. Oh, he's off. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, what was that? What on earth was that? Lamar slips that in behind there for Antoine Griezmann. Oh, he can score this one in his own right. 3-2-0. Uh, there's got to be so many goals, as I said. Oh, he's got a silly celebration now. We don't want to see that. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Okay, nice save. 20 minutes to try find a couple more goals. That's a run, Jao Felix. That's a better run, though, out wide. What a ball. How's your first touch, Lorene? Fantastic. Still got it. Pulls it back. No, he doesn't. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's a beautiful touch there by DePaul. Don't even know how to say that guy's name. Please let me know in the comments. Griezmann, nice control. Still Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann! What a finish! What a bit of dribbling as well. Probably this guy's got number eight because of Kobe, so we won't give him the number seven. Seven's his favorite number, but he just wants number eight, so we'll just keep him with that. Plus, anyway, Joe Felix has the number seven right now. Oh, that's a ball in between the gap. Oh, clean sheet. No! Are you kidding me? Come on, man. The 80 depth really exposes us defensively, doesn't it? Look, they're going mad. They've scored a goal. Great. You're playing a Farmers League. You're probably not going to get top four as well. Your best players probably get poached by the kings of the Farmers League as well, who have won it about 47 times in a row. So sit down. That's all I'm going to say. That's a ball out wide there for Carrasco. This could be a fourth. He's going to get onto that right foot. Still Carrasco. Bend it. I mean, that was amazing. We get a 3-2 win away to Real Betis, Lorene, Griezmann, and Memphis Depay. So we need to be Osasuna. 
Osuna here to go one point behind top of the league and we get a 4-0 win. Grasco, the left back, career with a brace. Oh, my bad. I can't do math. We're two points behind Real Madrid who are top of the league. Barcelona beat them 5-2 by the way. I mean, they're just overall a more classy club. Oh, this would be a massive win versus Club Bridge. We will make some rotations though. Felix now 84 overall. Amino at Cam. This actually is a fully rotated side, but the goalkeeper. I mean, please don't lose this. They're probably not full sharpness. We get a 2-0 win. Clean sheet. Firmino, Carrasco, get in. We're in some good form right now. We're not losing in the league, so don't go and mess this one up. Okay, just a 1-0 win. Correa. After 10 games, we find ourselves second in the league. Two points behind rivals Real Madrid. And five points clear of Barcelona. And we now actually have Barcelona at home, and they've got a very strong squad, of course. Defense, midfield, attack. But we're enough games into the season now to figure out what our best side is. And I'm pretty confident it is actually the team we've got selected right here. This really would be a massive win. We'd go five points ahead of them to eight. A draw wouldn't be an awful result as well, but Madrid will get farther ahead of us if we drop points. Here's Memphis now into the box. Lorene back to Memphis. Now back to Lorene. Can he hit it nope. on his left foot? Easy save. If you guys haven't already, by the way, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. A lot of you guys will be new because it's a new series. I can see by the comments and how episode one did, you guys are excited for this series. You never really see Atletico series, to be fair. That's a run there by Correa. Ball flicked up. Is he offside, though? He is. Uh, oh, what an app is that? <laughs> Paused the game, unpaused it, and all of a sudden they've got a counter-attack like that and score. I did not see that happening. Here's Depay on the left-hand side. Now Griezmann's in a nice bit of space, but we'll get this onto his right foot. Do you know what? We're just not very good, are we? Well, that's a mistake. Oh, <laughs> that is a big mistake. What on earth were they doing there? No, we don't want to see that. Go away. You silly celebration to tell you that. Look at that. Fantastic. What an assist. We could go in. We, we could go ahead here. Griezmann, finish it. Oh, look at that. They make a mistake. We go level. They make a mistake again, I'm pretty sure. And we go ahead. I haven't seen that in a couple of years. That's a fantastic finish. Second goal of the game for Griezmann. Oh, that's a tackle. Oh, we have showed up now. We have arrived. And Barcelona have crumbled. Lorene on the right-hand side. Is there anyone there? Surely it's someone back post Whee! to get this in the box. A pie diving header. Oh, that would have been world class. Ooh. <laughs> Nice save. Had to run. Angel Correa. Ball slipped through. Could be a goal here. Here's Correa. He's taking it wide. Goes to hit it. What a save. I mean, that was a very good effort as well, to be fair. We've got Carrasco on now. Going to get Correa short from the corner. Got someone edge of box. Got a power shot in the first time. I mean, that was something else. Ooh, they could get a point. They could get a point laid on here. I would shed a tear. It would be very upsetting. No! Get out. Go away. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Human. That is just not what we wanted to happen, was it? We get a point. That is a massive goal for Barcelona. They've gone back to five points away from us. They could have been eight if they didn't score that goal. And just like that, after 11 games... Oh, Real Madrid drop points. We're one point behind them. So if we won that game, we would have been top. But as said, Barca is still five points below us. Athletic Club, they're having a good season so far. Yeah, let me know what formation you guys think is best. We're still yet to try the five back. We might do that next episode. Griezmann at camp is very, very good. Much better than set of board. And Carrera up top. I mean, he's scoring so many goals. Last episode, we made two massive signings. Christian Romero from Tottenham and Diego Delo from Manchester United. Both players do fit in the starting 11 and you guys suggested we change to this formation, the 4-4-1-1, rather than the 4-4-2 we're using. And to be fair, we are creating better opportunities and scoring more goals. And Antoine Griezmann is really doing well at this camp position. In 12 appearances, he's got 10 goals, 6 assists. I I think prime Antoine Griezmann's bank. We have 34 million euros to spend in January. Of course, that is next episode. So get your suggestions down below. And also, if you enjoyed today's episode and you're enjoying the series, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're 11 games into La Liga and we're currently second in the league. Only a point off Real Madrid and five points clear from Barcelona, who are four. So we're doing pretty well after 11 games. And also, played through in the Champions League group stage, won three games. We're on nine points. We're looking to qualify in today's episode. 
we will get the round of 16 draw in today's episode as well. We now have Almeria away from home in the league. And it's a 2-2 draw. Are you kidding me? We drop points. Lorena and Memphis to pie. But now we have Club Bruges, the fourth game in the group stage. And of course, in this competition, we do like to rotate. Get Jao Felix in there. Firmino at camp. That was pretty much fully rotated the side. And we get a 3-1 win. This guy's suggesting that we sign Alex Marino as he doesn't think our current left back is good enough. But don't forget, we also do have Lodi. He's 29 and it is at Aston Villa. He said they signed him for 13 and a half million. This would be a very strange signing because he is like 30 years old. But Ronaldo, have you say his name? Our current left back is 28, is 80 rated. But so is Lodi, who is now 24. So we should probably be starting him. If you take a look at Ronaldo's stats, he does have 79 defending. That is very good for a left back. So I can see why Simeone likes him. But Lodi, he's got no sharpness. And we need to give him some more game time. Diego Simeone actually pulls Lodi to his office saying, I'm thinking of giving you some more game time. When I do give you the opportunity, I want to see you playing at your best. Lodi replies saying, boss, I've been waiting for this opportunity. I'm looking forward to it and I will do my best. We now have Girona at home here. So I feel this is a good opportunity to just slip him in the side despite him only having 10 fitness. We should be getting a win here and it's 2-0. There we go. Koke and Memphis Depay. We do get our scout report back for Alex Marina, who's 80 rated, worth between 14 and 17 million. It really just wouldn't make that much sense to sign him. I mean, he's very quick. And how is he defensively? 76. So he's not a whole lot better than Lodi. We now have a big game versus Severe. Oh, DePaul is suspended, so he misses this one. Why is Sal got zero sharpness? We do actually play him. Lamar's going to have to come in. Lorene play at center mid. Lamar on the right hand side. That works pretty well. But Severe do have a few good players. And of course, last night they did actually win the Europa League. Okay, we have a free kick here with Griezmann. So we're going to call someone short. Can we actually do that? Okay, there we go. It's Lorene. It's Lorene on the ball. Now we look for Koke. Not going to shoot. That'd be a waste of time, Lorene. Now looking for Griezmann. What a bit of play. Couldn't get the shot off. Oh, but look at this. We have a massive opportunity here. Correa is beat the defender. Can he go all the way, though? Can he get the shot off? Correa, one more touch to finish. There we go. 1-0 and let it go. What a goal by Correa. This guy's been fantastic this season. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We have a free kick. Antoine Griezmann, is, is that too much power? He goes over the wall. Looks good. Oh, just over the bar. I don't like taking free kicks with left-footed players, man. Oh, no. Oh, that's fantastic. That is his severe in the box. Number 11. Oh, nope. no. Oh, they've bottled that. And that's 90 minutes. So we get the one goal. Three points in the back. I mean, not a whole lot going on in that one. So we've played four games in the group. And we've won four games. So we have qualified for the next round already. Because two games remaining. Leverkusen or Club Bruges can't get to the amount of points we're on. I would have liked to have played this game versus Porto, but there's just no point. So we're simming it. We're rotating. It's at home. A 2-1 win. Lorene and Firmino. We're back to La Liga. Now playing Salta Vigo at home. I'm fully expecting a win in this one. I mean, we passed them all. Fantastic. Diego Aspas is this. I mean, doesn't he normally sign for Arsenal? Uh, nice defense. This is a very strange Salta Vigo kit that they're wearing. Here's Lorene on the right-hand side. The pie's in the box. Griezmann's there. Whip it in, but I've of course, every day of the week, they're going to do that. That's a nice ball out wide there for Ronaldo. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. It just sounds like speed saying Ronaldo. Oh, that's a beautiful interception there, Jimenez. Now I've got Griezmann. Oh, we slipped him through the gap. This could be a goal if he gets it right. Correa's getting in a good position. We're going to pass it, and we mess it up. Oh, no. This will be a goal. Oh, straight down the middle. That's a fantastic opportunity for them. Oh, no. Look at this. They're going to hit it. Another good block. Okay, we've defended well in this one. That's a nice steal there by Depay. Come on, let's get moving. Here he is on the left-hand side. He's got the pace. Correa's getting in the box. We move on to that right foot. Still Depay. Just going to hit it from him. If it's Depay. Oh, he beat the keeper, but didn't score. Well, that's a nice pass through the gap. Here's Antoine Griezmann. Now I've got Angel Correa out wide there to Depay. Whips it back post. That's a pretty good ball, to be fair. But again, defended well. Here's Correa. Slips out there for Depay. Surely now this is the goal. Lorene back post. We'll go for you. Go on. How's your touch? On your chest. Oh, oh, what a goal there, Lorene. Fantastic. This guy's capable of playing anywhere. He's good at defending, passing, dribbling, and shooting. Look at that technique, the control. I mean, is the camera angle actually going to show us it? Oh, yeah, Correa. That's a good win there. Here comes Lorene. Now going to look to go back to Correa. Good touch there. Griezmann making the run over the top. No, come on, man. Can, like, Koke connect to that? He wasn't offside. 
Oh, no. Nope. No, what a save there. We've got 18 minutes to clutch this up. And our black is a big part of that. Oh, Lorraine, a fantastic tackle. Keeps the ball in as well. Here he is. All that pace on the right-hand side. Griezmann making the run. Not going to play it to him, though. Now cut this inside. Lorraine, what a player. Still Lorraine. Lorraine, it's gone the way. Oh, what a save. I did think a win against Santa Vigo would be a whole lot easier than this is, to be fair. And I say a win. We haven't yet won the game. Oh, no. They've heard what I've said. Here they come. Number five. Aspas on the ball. Oh, intercepted. Well done, Delo. Scary stuff there. Slips that out wide for Lorena. He for sure has been the man of the match. Looking for Correa. That was just not it. Oh, we've got the ball, though. Still got it. Now in the box. Number five. Oh, what a goal. What a finish, DePaul. 2-0. And that is full time. So 2-0 win. Three points in the back. So the title race continues after 15 games. We're three points behind. Fast Real Madrid. Ooh. Barcelona really are dropping points, aren't they? Six draws. They're on 27 after 15. The game against Valencia here. We have like double the points than them. We're away from home. No, we dropped points. It's a 1-1 draw. Griezmann with the only goal. So we've got one last game to play in the group. And if we win, we finish on 18 points. Six games, six wins. And Leverkusen are fighting for that second place. So they're going to be competitive in this one. They're going to want that win. So we're going to play it. And you know what? We're not going to rotate too much. We'll get Lottie in there because I said we'll play him more. We'll play Joe Felix up top. Why not? Oh, that's a nice tackle there, Lottie. That's what we like to see. And he gets fouled. Okay, yeah, the conversation with him did work. Oh, he didn't. He's just slapped that player. Ah, I said slap. I mean, that was uh, the, the softest slap you've ever seen. Oh, here's a counter attack. Is Diaby. You guys are suggesting we go in for him. Not quite the player who suits the side. Wingers don't suit this system. He's just wide players. And that's our Atletico play, so I want to stick to it. Here's Joe Felix. Felix turns his man, goes to hit it. Now Griezmann, can he hit it? Okay, they're defending pretty well here. Here's Lamar. Felix slips that there. Oh, what a bit of play. Antoine Griezmann on the ball now. Has he got the nope. finish? What a save. Rebound, Ooh. Carrasco. Oh, I thought he was going to score an easy one there. But I tell you what, credit to that defender for getting back. There's a gap here. Go on, Carrasco. Bend it. Good save. Yeah, there's no chance we drop points in a game like this. We're winning it. They're going to the Europa League. Ooh. What a ball. What a save. Oh, what a tackle there. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I thought the ref was on one. I thought the, uh, you know, hired an English referee. What a dreadful decision that would have been. That That's a foul. We do have to be careful defensively, though, because in this second half, they've come out slightly different, and they're attacking well. We can slip that out wide there for Lamar. That's a nice ball, that is. We've got options in the box. Go, try go to Griezmann. First nope. time finish. What a save. That's a really nice bit of play, that was. Disappointing not to get the goal there. We're going to go for Jao Felix or DePaul. Nice touch to finish. Oh, the save. He, he got back up quick. That's a nice tackle, Lottie. That's what we like to see. He's actually played well this game. I'll give that to him. He can possibly slip that out wide there for Jao Felix. What a ball. Griezmann is in a good space. Do we pass it to him though? We will. That's when Griezmann tied well. Oh, no. What are we doing there? Oh, he's still going. He's still going. Oh, no. 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 What are we doing? What a dreadful goal to concede. Shadar, that's his name, with a goal. What are we doing? So, Bear Leverkusen could be going to the next round with that goal. And I don't want to let that happen. So, we need to defend this. Go on, attack. Score, score a goal, please. Here's Carrasco. That's a run there. Go on. Keep keep making the run, Felix. Oh, we need to... Griezmann, what a run that is. Over the top. How's your touch? That's one. Griezmann, what a goal. That's so fast. Big goal of the season. Now, that Carrasco one was wide. But this is next level. This pass was fantastic. He saw the run. He played it over the top. The touch was fantastic. The finish was even better. What a goal. We're level. And that's full time. So, Bear Leifkusen, oh, I mean, they're excited to go down to the Europa League. And they do, as Porto beat Club Brugge. They got nine points, which is pretty good. A big game versus Cadiz here. Can't be dropping points. A 3 0 win. That is massive. And now Valladolid away from home. Another three goal game. We can see the goal, though. It's now January 31st, so we have one last game until the January window opens. We're three points behind Rifles Real Madrid, and we now have Real Madrid at home. What a massive game this is, and you can take a look at their squad. It doesn't look like they've signed anyone new, but that is very strong. To be fair, Reynaldo is now 81 overall, and he did score a goal last game. So despite Lottie being good, we're still just going to start Reynaldo. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Well, 
what a way to start this one off. Fantastic. Oh, this is embarrassing. He was doing some silly celebration as well. That is not how we wanted to start this one. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, send him off, ref. Ah, oh, there we go. It's off. Benzema's on one. It's gone. Down to 10, men. Let's go and score five goals now. Okay, we probably won't score five goals, but we have a good chance of winning it. No, 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 no. What are we doing defensively, man? What is this? What on earth is that? That is dreadful. And he goes and scores. It's 2-0. They have been all over this. Oh, could be 3-0. Embarrassing. They have just been so good in this one. I don't see us beating them in this title race, to be fair. I tell you what, I've never seen a side do so well with 10 men. It's 3-0. It's still the first half, by the way. That, that's just humiliating. Wow. That is crazy. Modric with the goal. So second half now. How many more goals will they score? Oh, no. No, that was a joke. Don't go score anymore. You probably think I'm mad right now, but I've gone 100 depth. And we've put everybody in the box. I mean, Real Madrid, they're down to 10 men. We should have done that anyway. There's a goal. There's a goal. Griezmann in behind. How's your finish? Antoine Griezmann. There we go. Good stuff. Let's go score some more. Or we might be more exposed defensively. Okay. No, we've actually tackled someone. Fair enough. We're, we're passing the ball. Oh, we do it again. The, the, we're doing stuff that isn't even imaginable from the first half. The third time. Okay. Now Griezmann slip. Oh, we, we, we could win this game. I'm telling you, we could actually win this game. You need to score this though. No, what are you doing? You fraud. No, no, no. You can't go missing that. that that's just dreadful. That is a dreadful shot. No keeper should be saving that. Oh, <laughs> forget it. For, forget it. It's gone. Down to 10, men. Let's go and score five goals now. So the January window is now open and we have 34 million to spend. That was embarrassing. But we tried to forget about that. We're now six points behind them. This title race really is uh, slipping away, you could say. The January transfer window is now open and we have 34 million euros to spend. So we might be able to sign someone. So one last episode recommended Alex Moreno, a left back at Aston Villa, 29, 80 overall. As we have Reynildo, who is 81 overall and 28. I don't really want to get rid of this guy because look, he has really, really good defending. He can actually play center back. But of course, as a backup, we have Lottie, who eventually will be the starter. To be fair, guys, both Peo Torres and Nicolas Sule we could get with the money we have. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. They won't do 33 and 42 for Sule and 28 to 34 for Peo Torres. So we definitely could be able to buy him. Of course, we wrapped up the group stage last episode. We finished first on 16 points. Five wins, one draw. So the round of 16 has been drawn and we happen to be playing AC Milan. And they're currently sixth after 19 games in Serie A. So they're not having an amazing season. To be fair, they're not too many points away away from like first. This dude was suggesting we sign Sionchu and Guerrero. Of course, Les City got relegated this season. I cannot believe that still. Sionchu will be leaving and looks like he'll be signing for Atletico Madrid. Oh, Rafael Guerrero is at Barcelona. That is disappointing. I really wanted to sign this guy. He'd be great in this system at left back or center mid to replace someone like Koke next year. Of course, if you convert him, he goes up to like 86 overall. But here's a really good suggestion. This guy's suggesting we sign Nuno Mendes Mendes from PSG. It's an exciting prospect. 20 left back would fit the system well. I don't know if we'd be able to sign him under 34 million though. Could we possibly loan him? No, they're not willing to actually do that. I mean, someone like Ronaldo is worth 17 million. So maybe a swap deal plus cash would get that deal done. I'm pretty sure because of this guy's potential, he's worth something ridiculous. So if we go in with like 28 million and just submit that, yeah, they straight up say no. He's, he's probably worth like 60, 70 million by now. Back to La Liga for now. We're playing Gratafe and we get a 2-0 win. Antoine Griezmann and Correa. So after 20 games in La Liga, we're still second spot and we're now six points away from Real Madrid, who smashed us last episode, by the way. 5-1 and they were down to 10 men. We have a scout report back now for Nuno Mendes and he's valued at 98 million and we offered 28. And also Guerrero is 83 at 29. We could have gone in between like 27 and 34, so we could have actually signed that guy. Espanyol now away 
away from home. A 3-1 win. We're really doing well. Carrasco, Correa, and Carrera again. Bayern Munich want to sign Memphis to pay. They've offered 48.3 million, which is basically his valuation. Maybe in the summer, we'll look to get rid of him. But for now, we're going to reject that. He is a big player. Our top goal scorer, by the way, is still Griezmann. 14 goals, 13 assists in 24. This guy is on fire this season. And we beat Ralph Benitz 2-1. Firmino in the last 10 minutes with a big goal. And Griezmann again. Now we have the Copa del Rey round of 32. So we will fully rotate in this one. Get Jao Felix up top there. To be fair, we should be starting this guy more. I know I keep saying that, but Correa's good. I'm starting to think maybe we do need to sign an actual number nine. Okay, so we're fully rotating like this, but the goalkeeper. Just please don't lose this. We get a 1-0 win. That is fine. Condogbe at the center back. Same lineup now for the round of 16. That's a 2-0 win. Jao Felix and Firmino. I'm trying to see if there's any players whose contract is expiring. There's Sergio Busquets. Of course, he is leaving Barcelona IRL. But would he join Atletico Madrid? That is the question. I feel Gundogan would be an interesting signing. 17 to 21 million. He would add something to the side. And I also saw someone mentioning Rahid Mahrez. This guy would be fantastic on the right mid. A perfect player for this system. The transfer window is now shut, so we'll leave them deals till the summer. Get your suggestions down below. We now have the Copa del Rey quarterfinal versus Real Betis. Why do these games all come at once? We will rotate, but not too much. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to because we have just played one of these games and we played all the rotation players. We'll play Lottie at left back and we'll get Savic uh, right center back. Is Delart White slips that in behind there for Lorena. He is onside. Going to put that low. Griezmann first time. Oh, it's hit the post. Oh, big chance from the penalty. Antoine Griezmann. We're going to go down the middle here. I think I've penenked it. Have I done it right? No, I pressed the wrong bumper. Great. But that is 1-0. Antoine Griezmann with another goal. Oh, no. That's a big chance. What an equalizer there, Betis. That is a pass and a half for Keir. Probably their best player. They're not just level, but they now have a penalty. Come on, please save this. He goes bottom left. I don't believe it. That could be us out the cup. And it is. 90 minutes goes, and we are out in the quarterfinal. That is painful. We most likely will go the first season without winning anything. We get a 4-1 win here. You guys seem to really be enjoying this series, by the way. If you've enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We get a 3-0 win versus Real Sociedad. And we're finally at the round of 16 versus AC Milan. Take a look at that squad. They've got a solid defense. Kalalulu and Tomore. Good midfield with Tonali in there. We've got Rafael Leao up top. That is a good side. But I feel we have a better one. How are we going to line up in this first leg? We start Carrera up top or Jao Felix. Didn't Angel Carrera once play for AC Milan? Is that a transfer that happens in career mode? I don't think I'm going to make any changes here. Depay's now 86 overall, by the way. So the First leg, we want to see a defensive masterclass, and we do. They don't score. A 1 0 win, Correa. Now I've got Beer Real at home in the league, and it's a 1 1 draw, so we drop points. So after 25 games in the league, we're still six points behind Madrid. They're just really not dropping any points. We have a great opportunity here to make sure they drop points if we play well and actually beat them. We have them away. It looks like they've made a January sign, and they've got Zapata as a center forward. That's interesting. So hopefully, this goes a a little bit better than it did last episode. That was an embarrassment. That but that truly was embarrassing. I'd, I would really like to forget about that. What on earth is that? Here's Vinicius. Oh no. Here's a padder. Back to Vinicius. What a block. If they smash us again here, more than three goals, I will never play them ever again. Oh, that's a ball slip through there. To ref no, please, 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 just get it. What are we doing defensively when we play this? Like we passed them the ball. Oh no, 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 please, Vinicius. Junior goes for a shot there. Good save. Come on, collect yourselves. Okay, here's Griezmann on the ball. I, oh, okay, this is good. We could maybe score a goal. Griezmann still on the left-hand side. Still Griezmann. He's going all the way. Makes the pass. We get a corner. I take a draw in this game. If we lose, they've basically won the title. Let's just wind it up from there over the bar. Oh, that's a nice header. Now here's Carrera. Nice hold-up play there. Oh, gets it out wide for Depay. The overlap by the left-back. The beautiful bit of football. Someone getting in the box there. Header. Oh, what a goal! That is fantastic! Angel Correa makes it one now. And that was a perfect goal. The overlap from the left back. He crosses it in. He wins the header. The direction isn't amazing. I mean, he, he should have saved that. He's the best goalkeeper in the world. It somehow goes in one now. Oh, that's an interception, Griezmann. Oh, this is our game. This is our game to win. We win. We go three points behind them. And the title race is very much so still on. Here's Koke. Gets that out wide there. That's an interception. Is Angel Correa 
slipped a big ball in behind there for Lorene. Still got it. Can he finish it? Lorene, 2-0. I don't believe it. In the first 10 minutes, it looked like it was going to be a hammering again by Madrid. Now, Real Madrid, but Madrid are winning. The Real Madrid. That, that doesn't work, does it? Their name is Real Madrid. Yeah, forget that. We are Atletico. That is a fantastic goal. Oh, but they're looking to get a goal back now. Oh, that's nope. a shot. Good save. We can get this out as well. Calm composure out the back, playing it. Ooh, Diego Simononi side goes into halftime winning. Oh, no, it's a big chance there for Zapata. Oh, that's a tackle. That's a great tackle. He wins it back. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Ball over the top. We can clean that up. Good stuff. Jimenez. Tell you what, we are defending well. We want this game more than they do. And this is away from home as well. 3-0 would be massive in a game like this, especially after what they did to us. The pie here. Correa's getting in the box. We whip it back. <laughs> Post Lorene. Oh, that was a big chance. Zapai, he's done so well. Gonna bend it from there, deflected with what a corner. And that's it. 2 0 win. Three points in the back. Tata races on. Oh, we have Almeria before the second leg. So we are gonna rotate here to make sure that we're ready for that second leg. To be fair, we have some really good depth in this side. Playing Firmino, Felix up top. That is basically a fully rotated side. Please don't go dropping points in this, especially after we beat Madrid. We get a 1 0 win. We just about get it done. Firmino again. This guy's got six goals in 15 games. I feel he's actually doing pretty well. But here is the second leg and I've just realized three days after we have Barcelona. By the way, I'm still raving about this home kit. It is amazing. Do we make any changes? To be fair, Ronaldo did really good against Madrid. So we're going to start it. Of course, we do have the slight advantage in this one. We're winning by one goal on aggregate and we are playing at home here. So the chances are we're in the quarterfinal. I did set the goal out so we reach the semis. I feel we have a squad very capable to do that. Okay, we're moving the ball nicely early on. Go on, make that run. Ball over the top there. This could be a goal. Looking for Griezmann. Griezmann first nope. time. What a save. De Clattery on the ball. That's a poor pass. Always a good chance. Liao slips that Ooh. through. De Clattery. What a save there, keeper. Get this out the back. We really did escape on there. Here's Depay. Slips that there. Oh, that's a fantastic ball. This could be 2-0. Angel Correa's. He got the finish. What a save. That's a nice interception there, Jimenez. Slips that in behind there for Correa. Another big chance here. Has he got the finish? Yes, he has 2-0. Just before halftime, that should be us now in a quarterfinal, surely. We'd really have to do some big bottling from now to not. It's a fantastic assist, though, by Jimenez. I mean, he does his job at the back, drives forward, slips the ball through, and Correa gets that goal. Maybe in season two, we do go out and sign a proper number nine. It's Koke. Ball out wide there for Depay over the top there for Correa. Takes it down nicely. The overlap there by Depay is nice. Depay in the box. Passes here across the box. Oh, no. Oh, that's a good save, Oblak. Black. Yeah, it's been a big part in this game. Of course, he made that massive save where they probably should have scored. I probably should be making subs now because we do have Barcelona coming up. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Good save. Got 17 minutes to play. Ooh, that's a ball slipped in there for Inglesias. Oh, builds it up. Big chance. Oh, it's, it's offside. Wait, sit down. Yeah, sit down. Get in the net. Oh, look at this. Lee out. A couple of minutes to play. If they get a goal here, then uh, they, they could have some hope. Oh, rebound. Nope. Oh, I mean, he's so good, this keeper. Referee, blow your whistle. That should be full time. Come on, no, the clean sheet. We've done so well in this one. Oh, Black deserves his clean sheet. Don't go concede here. Lee out, get a foot in. Nice defense. No, what are we doing? No, 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 good save. Referee, blow it. Oh, look at that. They've got the keeper in the box. That's... Uh, that's funny. And that's it. That's full time. We are in a quarter final after eight minutes of extra time at the end there. Diego Simononi's men are through to the next round. Oh, look at this. Look at this. With 11 games to play, we are level with Real Madrid. We now have Barcelona, who are second. Quite a few points behind us. You can see by our squad there. We, we can't be messing around. They've got a very, very strong squad. To be fair, we don't have too many tired players. Yeah, we'll, we'll start Molina. No, we won't. Because he's got no sharp. We'll still play Delo. That's fine. But you know what? We'll just play Lodi there. That works. Got a five-star weak foot, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Gonna play Carrasco on the left-hand side. I just feel he's gonna do well. It's Koke. Slips that out wide there for Lodi. He's gonna pull this onto his left foot. He's gonna cross it in with that left foot. I, I feel this is gonna work quite well. That's a nice tackle there. Oh, fantastic. We're playing well in today's episode. That's a run there by Correa. Still got it. Correa. Lorene. Still Correa, finish it. Oh, what a save. Oh, that's a tackle, Carrasco. Slips that in behind there for, for Griezmann. Oh, 
man, come on. You need to be finishing that. Get this one in the box. Win the header. Oh, that was a good header. Why the goal, though? Oh, no, no, that's a ball. That's a ball. That's a ball. What a save. Our black player of the episode. What are you saying? Has to be, right? He's saved us so many goals. Look, he's going to get himself an assist here as well. He's... No, 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 no. What am I doing? What on earth do I think I'm doing, man? Just, just play it. He's every day of the week. That's going to happen. Oh, they've injured my centre-back. Oh, he's had him there. He's had him on toast there. Is the player who injured him as well. Look at him go, Jimenez. So to keep this title race alive, we need to win this game. Lorene, now Correa. Out wide for Lorene. Good stuff. Now someone drift back post. I'm going to keep it. Still Lorene. Still Lorene. Pass it across. Griezmann, get in. I'd be so annoyed, man, if that wasn't a goal. But he made the pass. That would only ever happen in FIFA. There's no way IRL anyone actually sees that pass, surely. Yeah. Maybe, but that's a very good finish. It seems so impossible when you're losing to see that you have to win the game. But when you go level, all you need is a goal. We need two again now. Are you kidding me? This defense, man. Why are you getting megged? How on earth are you getting megged? You, you didn't even do anything. You just stood there. So the feeling has gone back to, to impossible. Okay, nice bit of passing here. Here's Griezmann. Ball over the top there for Correa. Good touch. The finish. Get in. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. We're back. We're getting three points in this game. I'm telling you. Look at that. The assist. This fantastic. The touch, amazing. The finish, whoa. Right, to Paizon, we've gone 80 depth. We're getting everybody possible forward and in the box. I am confident with our defensive ability now, and we will go score that third goal. Okay, nice bit of passing here. Griezmann slipped in. Lorene out wide in behind. Is he offside? He is. Okay, Lorene out wide. Now Correa, Correa, back to Lorene. Ooh, good stuff. We scored the first goal with Lorene doing this. Now we're going to score the number three. Let's get in. Come on. Antoine Griezmann doing silly celebration or something, whatever this is. Take that, Barcelona. In this series, if we really, really strengthen the defense and make sure we're really confident with it, we could just play on like 90 depth and get everybody in the box and score loads of goals. And that's the win. 3-2. We get the job done. Idle hope still alive. Confidence is rolling. Valladolid now a 4-0 win. Look at that. Cadiz away from home. A 2-0 win. Jimenez and Koke. And look who we have in the quarterfinal. It's Bottle Job FC from the Farmers League. Of course, let's have a look. Oh, look. Bayern Munich are top. Of course they are. They're going to win it for the uh, 48th time in a row. But here comes the first leg. And it's a 1-0 win again. Antoine Griezmann. So going into the second leg. We have the advantage again. And we have eight games to play in La Liga. And we are level on 74 points with Real Madrid. They've lost four. We've lost two. We're in a crazy title race. With eight games to play, we're currently second in the league to rivals Real Madrid. And we're both on 74 points. And we're also in a UCL quarterfinal playing Dortmund. We're currently winning 1-0 on aggregate. And this side is playing pretty well right now. Of course, we set out the goal at the start of the season to challenge for the title in the league, which we are doing. And also to reach a Champions League semi-final, which it looks like we could do that. But this dude is saying we should swap out Depay for Carrasco on the left. And to be fair, Depay hasn't really done a whole lot this season. And when Carrasco's played, I feel he's done a bit more. Of course, if you guys are enjoying this series, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We now have Valencia at home. We should be getting three points in this one. And we get a 2-0 win. Ronaldo with a goal and an injury. Hopefully that's not for long. And Lorene. We do now have that second leg versus Dortmund. And unfortunately, that injury was two weeks. So we're going to have to bring in Lodi, which is fine. It's the same rating. He's got good sharpness. Oh, but I'm noticing Jimenez and Romero are slightly tied. I'm not going to rotate any of them, though. It's very important in this second leg that they both start. If we take a look at that bottle job FC squad, they've got Bellingham still there. Emery, Chad, Brandt, Haller up top. Good defense as well. A strong side, but I feel we should be winning this. Oh, no. Oh, no. He slipped through. He shoots. Oh, he didn't get enough under that. Good opportunity there for Dortmund. He's Angel Kret. There's a gap there for Griezmann. He slipped it. This could be the second goal. Antoine Griezmann. It's 2-0 Atletico. He gets a silly celebration out. What's he doing now? What on earth is that? But that is a great assist. Perez slips it in behind and that's a fantastic finish on Griezmann's right foot. Here's Jude Bellingham for Dortmund. Oh, that's a fantastic pass. Oh, he's hit the bar. We have really got away with one there. A third goal. 
goal in a game like this would completely finish it off. Travella there. He had to get his hand to it. That was Carrasco. He's looking to have a big game here. It's Lodi. He's going to shoot on that left foot. Straight down the middle. Now here comes Dortmund. If they want to get back in it, they need a goal. Good defense again. Now here's Griezmann. That's a ball. Can we get that right in behind there for Correa? He is on side. And Gal Correa. Hard shot. Three now. We are in a Champions League semi-final. That was a fantastic finish by Correa. Yeah. It's not even half time yet. And we have absolutely humiliated Bottle Job FC here. Ball over the top there for Correa. Can we get a fourth? Oh, we do. Is there any point in playing the second half? 4-0 on aggregate. Well, Correa's a nice bit of space there. We get the ball in. Could be another goal it is. Look at that. 60 minutes in. An hour into the game. 5-0 on aggregate. Well, that's it. That's how it ends. 5-0 on aggregate. Patrick Angel Correa. Fantastic. Now back to La Liga. South of Vigo away and we get a winner in the last minute of the game. Antoine Griezmann and also in the 28th minute so he scores a brace. Look at this six games to play and we are second in the league. Three points behind Real Madrid but we have a game in hand. We need to win to go level. It would be very helpful to win 7-0 because we would go top of the league on goal difference but is that really going to happen? Oh we get a winner Oh, what a save. Where's a big opportunity why is he shot? We did just have a big opportunity but the game shot it as soon as he got the ball. This most broken game mode ever. Here's a fantastic opportunity. Don't mess this up. Angel Correa. Oh, one now. There we go. I'm not gonna let the game mug me off like that. Roberto Firmino's on the pitch now. Slips that to Correa. Now back to Firmino. Oh, we've done their defense there. Here is Roberto Firmino. 4-2-0. Oh, what a save. Not quite 7-0. I mean, we could be conceding here if we don't get this right. Ball out wide. Oh, he's messed that up. And that is full time. We have escaped one there. Ooh. Look who we have in the semi-final. We have PSG. And to be fair, that is a weak PSG squad. They don't have Mbappe, Messi, or Neymar. They definitely haven't solved them players. They're definitely just deciding not to play them. I don't know why they're rotating against us. They're very confident if so. How do we line up in this game? I don't think we make any changes. We played so well in the last one against Dortmund. So here comes the first leg. And we lose 3-1. No, are you kidding me? That's probably us out the Champions League. The Battle of La Liga and in this game we are fully rotating i'm confident we can get a win here still a very very strong rotated squad to be fair but here we come away from home a 2-0 win jal felix and Firmino. but what a massive game this second leg is it is massive now they're playing mbappe i see how it is laporte at the back marquinius kimpimbe to be fair alaban hey Kimi, that is one of the best back fives in the game right now when it comes to us how we gonna line up do you know what i'm actually gonna start to pile on the left i, I feel he's gonna be a big player in this one. We are at home. At least we have that advantage in this one. Here's a mobile. Eye. Was a good signing, by the way, for them. Oh, that could have been a goal. Nice defense. They score one goal. It is over. Here's Koke. Now Griezmann slips that out right there for Correa. He's going to pull that inside. He's going to go for the angle. Could have been a handball. Oh, no. Mbappe. Oh, come on, man. We're out. Kylian Mbappe. So unfortunate. So unfortunate. I don't really know what to say after that. Just just disappointed. The Rene slips that in behind that. For Diego to low. Back post. Someone moving in. That's a nice ball. The goal was to reach the semi-final. I mean, very disappointed not to reach the final. Oh, this could be another goal. He's onside as well somehow. Mbappe. What's he going to do here? Oh, get out. What's the point? They're just destroying us here. Crazy that. Quarter final. We beat Dortmund 5-0 on aggregate. Now we're losing 5-1. And now it's half time. Is Memphis to pipe. Oh, this could be a goal. Antoine Griezmann slipped through. Can he get a goal versus the French side? He can. Don't celebrate. That's embarrassing. Especially your celebrations. I mean, 5-2 down. That'd be humiliating. Oh, and he is doing something silly. Are you having a laugh? Can we at least make this scoreline look competitive? That's that's all I ask. One more goal here would, would be good. That is a nice gap. We'll go to Bendit. Good save. Now to pie on the ball. Now looking for DePaul. He could hit this one. He does. Good save. And that's it. That's full time. A 5-2 loss in aggregate to PSG. They'll be in a Champions League final. We have four games remaining and we're both on 86 points. We only have two losses, by the way, and they have four. Check that out. We now have Athletic Bilbao here. The first game of the season, was it? I know it was one of the first three games of the season, but I'm going to make a few changes here. I'm going to bring Lodi in there at left back, and we're also going to put Firmino there over Griezmann. Oh, no. Look at this. Early on. Garcia. Oh, he's 
rapid. It's so quick. It's so fast. <laughs> Here's the pull on the ball. Come on. Someone make a run. I mean, standing there is not going to help, is it? Get a ball out wide there to Lorena. The ball in a nice space. Correa moves it on. Roberto nope. Oh, no. 13 minutes left to play, and we need that goal. It's still nil-nil. Roberto Firmino. Edge of box. I'm doing it. I'm winding one up. Pass shot. It's blocked. Come on. Please keep the ball. Keep the ball. Look at this. Yeah. Come dog beer. Out wide. Look at this. Look at this play. Number 19. Get in. What a goal. We're going to get three points. Diego to low. Now we just hold on to this lead and we defend it. Wait for them to turn the ball over and that will be game. Oh, no. It's Megstus. It's Megstus. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There was an offside and that's full time. Now we have Mallorca at home and it's a 3-1 win. Madrid, by the way, are not dropping points. We're still level. But now we have a Leche at home. A 4-0 win. I mean, we are so good this season, but are Madrid ever going to drop points? Oh, it's still level at 95 points. To be fair, there's three goal difference between us. Goal difference doesn't even make, it, make a difference, does it? I've just realized. It might do, because they beat us 5-1, I think. Then we beat them 2-0. So because it's level on head-to-head, -head, it surely goes down to goal difference then. Let me know in the comments. But for our final game of the season, we've got to be going out with our strongest side. And this is our strongest side right now. Ooh. No, no, please, 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 please. We have a free kick here. A big opportunity. Come on, Griezmann. Get this one in. Over the wall. Nope. Oh, the keeper saves it. Why? Left-footed free kick takers, man. I just can't do it. It's so much different. You have to put so much more height and power on it. Is Correa is going to finish this. This is going to be a goal. There we go. 13 minutes to play as well. Oh, we're just about getting the job done against Osasuna. Tell you what, I'd be interested to see how many goals Correa has. He could get another hit. Angel Correa, what a player. They're down to 10 men. We get a second goal. Do we really need a proper number nine next season? Oh, and look at that. They win the league, Real Madrid. We both get 98 points. They beat Almeria 3-1 away. Look at that. What a season. How has this squad done that good? Antoine Griezmann, 28 goals, 21 assists. What a player. These are Pellegrini numbers. 26 goals, 5 assists. Correa, that is insane. Who is this guy? Lino. I mean, maybe he gets a, a place in the squad next season. I mean, he's putting up some pretty good numbers. I mean, that was a pretty solid first season. 98 points. How on earth did this squad manage to do that? I mean, we'll be making improvements next season. Perhaps we even go to a 4-3-3. Go more attacking next season. Let me know in the comments. Last season was pretty incredible. We finished second in the league to Real Madrid and we both achieved 98 points. And we also reached a Champions League semi-final, but PSG beat us 5-1 on aggregate. So season number two is here, and this is going to be a big one. Stay tuned as we have brand new signings coming up, and of course, three brand new kits, and we have a budget of 125 million. And as you guys can see by this chart, this season we're going to have Adidas and Emirates for our sponsor as we finish second in the league. But I've gone and messed it up and told the kit maker to make the wrong kit. So we have this, which is pretty good looking. I apologize about that, guys. This is the formation we were using last season. What is it? A 4 2 3 1 or a 4? 4-4-1-1. Whatever you want to call it, I feel we're going to mix it up this season. I like the look of the 5-3-2. We're playing three at the back, so it's defensive. In fact, you could say it's a five at the back. We have Griezmann and Cam, two center mids, and I feel we need to be getting Felix in the standing 11. That's why we're playing this. He's now 85 overall. He's got good stats and he's 23. He's got great potential. He needs to get in there. And Correa, this guy scored like 26 goals last season. We were saying we need a proper number nine. I'm not too sure about that. With Felix and Correa up top with Griezmann behind, I feel we'll have enough goals in this side this season to possibly win the Champions League and of course go for La Liga. Yeah, big expectations for this season. Probably even challenging for the cup. If you guys are at Cypher, leave a like, subscribe if you're new and turn the bell on. This guy is saying he thinks we should play Felix as he's 23 and we need to give him a chance. And is our number 7. He just has to be in the Stein 11. That was one of the comments that made me make the decision to actually change the formation. And we also have this guy saying change the formation, play Felix at right wing and Lorene at center mid. And no, we haven't done exactly that, but Lorene at center mid. This guy has amazing stats. Delort right wing back. This guy is amazing. I mean, check out them stats. He can pretty much play anywhere as
as well. But Koke has now gone down to 83 overall. Of course, we're not going to sell him. He's a club legend. He's played the most games in the history. He's been here since like 2010. I mean, he's been around since day one. And to be fair, without wingers, Carrasco can play Cam. Firmino, of course. Lamar can play center mid or Cam. We might move him on though. And Depay is currently a left winger, but he can very comfortably play center forward. In fact, that's his best position. He can even play Cam. Of course, we do have a lot of players back from loan, like this guy, Kameo. 22, 35 rated, 18 million by Juventus. We're just going to accept that. We have a Simeone here. Of course, Diego Simeone has a son who plays in Serie A, but is this another one? I mean, it might be, but 11.8 million will sell him. We've got so many players back from loan that you guys won't actually see the majority of these sales. But there is one deal I'm going to get done real quick, and that is Mikel Marino. We are signing this guy. I've already decided it. 27, 83 overall. This guy has actually got good potential. He may have lost a bit of it. We can get this guy on the cheaper. I think his contract is at Spire and Commander of the Air, but 24 million. I think an extra million probably will do the job here, and it does. 25 million. This guy can go on the bench. There will be a player that we sell because of this. We will get to that, but I really want to try get this guy in the starting 11 at some point. I feel he fits the system well. He's got a high, high work rate, I'm pretty sure. But here's our first signing of season two in the new Atletico shirt. Isn't too different from last season. Probably wondering what player will he replace on the bench. It's going to be Tamar Lamai. He's 84 overall. He's right mid. He can play center mid. Best position probably is Cam, but I feel we should sell him. He's 27. I mean, he's a very good player. Very good stats, but there are some players that we need to move on. Oh, we could cash in here on Samuel Lino. This guy did actually get like 17 goal contributions last season. Out on loan. 31.9 million. I want to loan him out, so I'm going to reject that. I tell you what, we're going to make a lot of money with selling players. Cunha, 34.5 million. I forgot about him, but we'll accept that. Oh, we finally have a transfer offer for Tamala Mark. Can we get a little bit more from Liverpool for him? 41.8. I mean, that's his valuation. What about 45? His contract may be expiring, so that is why. They straight up say yes. We probably could have got a bit more there. He hasn't even sold yet, and we have 160 million. Sold a bunch of players. We signed one player. You're probably wondering, where else do we make signings? Well, of this formation, we're playing three centre-backs. Savic is now 32. 84 rated is very good. I think Kondogbia is probably a better backup, so I may trade him in for someone else, like a proper good centre-back. And I still feel we need a proper number nine for the bench. If we take a look at the centre-back first, we already have Perry Torres, who okay, we can't sign him because he's just moved. Nicolas Sule is still an option. Laporte, Spanish, but he's gone to PSG, so that kind of makes that awkward to sign him. And he's 29. We kind of need to start signing younger players. Lucas Hernandez, is Ruben Diaz. This guy's going to cost like 90 million. That, that's going to be an expensive signing. It's hard to get him out of City as well. Marquinhos is probably the best option. He's cheap because his contract is expiring. It's only got a year left. He's 29, 88 overall, but he is 29. Again, the last couple of series, we're just signing so many old players. Lisandro Martinez is Argentine, 25. It, I mean, he's vicious. As a United fan, you know you have a good player when rival fans don't like your players. Like Bruno, Martinez, Casemiro. Mirror. They just get triggered by them. This guy, I'd put him on the shortlist because he's got like 88 potential. It cost a good 100 million. That would be a very expensive signing. I'm pretty sure we signed Martinez before in another series, right? We have done a United one. We've used him before. So I'm just going to go for Marquinhos. This looks like it's a, uh, a deal we could definitely get done. You're probably wondering, what is the limit for the transfers this season? Last season, it was 40. I'm pretty sure 50. Well, this season, let's just say it's 50. It may have been that last, but it's fine. Let's try swap Savic. Plus, I don't know, 38 million with a 10% salon clause. That may just get it done. It does. We could have maybe saved a little bit of money there. Okay, this guy's on a lot of wages, which Atletico Madrid can deal with, by the way. Diego Simononi earns 500k a week. I didn't actually know that, but we'll, we'll keep it to 250. He should just say yes, and he does. Number six, Mark Quinios. He probably took Safik's number. And this guy fits Diego Simononi's team really well. I've just realized. 38 million plus Safik. Is this a good deal? It is. We got an A. We have just improved this squad so much, by the way. 88 overall. Our defense is one of the best in the world. We have a fully South American back three. I mean, we almost have an entire back five from South America. Lodi Brazil. Delo Portugal. The Portuguese is going to be spoken quite a lot in this side, especially going forward as well. Our tactics this season, by the way, we're pressing after possession loss. We're going 80 depth and offense. Balance 
last possession. And look at this. We're getting everybody in the box. Because when we're losing like 4-1 and we change to this tactic, we score so many goals. We make comebacks. So this season, it's about high scoring games. And Tamar Lamar is officially off to Liverpool for 45 million. And check this out. Adiemi has a 45 million euro release clause. So we can actually save quite a bit of money here. So we're just going to pay that. He's 81 overall at 21. This is a fantastic signing. I mean, if a Man United came in with horrible negotiations, Dorman could easily get uh, 90 million. A five-year contract, 170 million release clause. I mean, that works fine. And the wages, 120k a week. He should say yes to that, and he does. I sure am excited for this season. We're going to play really good football, as I spoke about. The tactics, lots of goals, and we have made some really, really good signings. I mean, I can see this guy playing quite a bit. Ah, oh, I forgot to show the kits. I've got to go back in time. I just played the first game of the season. I can't believe Sociedad scored that many goals against us. And that bicycle kick from 40 yards out was absolutely crazy. You can see the home kit here looks amazing. Number six, our new signing, Mark Quinios. It has a nice shine to it, like no kit ever. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. A bit of a more orangey red or just a brighter red this season. It looks pretty nice. The way kit is looking very, very nice. I'm slightly colorblind, so I'm probably going to fail at guessing the color of this. Is it tan or slightly green? But this is looking solid. Excuse the pun. It is just one solid color, isn't it? My bad, guys. That was the third kit. This is the away kit. Jav Felix repping it. This is the one IRL that is leaked. In fact, all three of the kits are from IRL. And how strange is this? I mean, check out that badge. That is some OG stuff. I'm excited to use it this season. It's on the thumbnail, so you guys probably think you're clicking on a Deferativo video. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Of course, we can't forget the goalkeeper kit. Oh, Black is rocking this for the season. Nice and simple. Looks really nice. Big shout out to MOI who made the kits. If you guys want to support him or get your own kits, then go check out his Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon. That will be linked in the description. We I've just realized we've got Marino in the side and we signed him from Sociedad. So if we get a penalty, I think you know what that means. Adiemi, nice run there. Oh, keep it well. With that pace, we'll be seeing him make him runs like that quite a bit. Adiemi's got so much pace here. Look at him coming into the box onto that left foot. Couldn't get the shot off. To be fair, I did expect a little bit more from a game like this. But also, Sudan have done well to stay in it. Go on, win that header to Paul. Griezmann win that as well. Come on, break, please. Let's get that goal. Marino on the ball. Felix, nice bit of passing. Adiemi out wide there. Now back to Adiemi. Good stuff. The shot, Adiemi. That was poor. Here's Joe Felix. Now Antoine Griezmann. He's got dribbling ability. Got wide though to Lorene. Moves into the box. Nice pass there. Ooh, handball. Looks like that's a potential penalty. Oh boy, a penalty here would be absolutely massive. Look at this. This is the situation. The ball comes up and hits him on the hands there. That's a penalty. Oh no, what did I say, man? Marino would take it. Absolutely not. Antoine Griezmann, we need to win this game. Top right hand corner. Oh, what a pen. What a pen. Antoine Griezmann kicks off the season with a goal. Kicks off the season with a silly celebration. I don't know how we managed to get 98 points last season. That is just incredible. Oh, to low, he's right footed. He's right footed. Let's bend that to low over the bar. That's a nice header. Griezmann has found Correa. Griezmann is trying to get back post. He's going to find that space. Just going to put the ball in. He goes to take it down. Adiemi is onside. He gets his goal. The opener is debut. 2-0. We're going to sell the three points in the bag. What a way to start off La Liga. Griezmann takes it down. That's that's just a nice assist, isn't it? And that is a nice finish. Took about a decade to see the replay. Oh, I'm so glad we got that second goal. Oh, he's bottled that. Oh, come on. We need that clean sheet. Don't let the keeper down, Marconios. That's what we signed you for. Get that up the pitch. Don't even need to. That's full time. Get a 3-1 win versus Abar away from home. To Paul, Joe Felix, and Joe Felix again. Now we have Alaves, and we get a 3-0 win. To Paul again, Griezmann, and Correa. This is our Champions League group stage for the season, by the way. Spurs, Marseille, and Shakhtar Donetsk. And we currently have transfer deadline day, so we're just going to completely skip over that. We've got our business done. We've made the three signings we can. We do actually have Spurs straight after this game a couple of days after so we will make some rotations to be fair we could have actually done with not selling Savic. don't know if we could have got that Marquinhos deal done under 50 million definitely not but i think in january we signed
And another center back. Quite a rotated side here. We get a 2-1 win from Mino. And Adiemi picks up a knock, though. It's a two-week injury, so we will miss this next game versus Spurs. Doesn't look like they've made too many changes to their squad. Champions League, we'd normally make a few changes, but we'll just go out like this. All right, here come the mass serial winners. Son number seven, Ben Tankar. If you're OG enough to remember his amazing long shots. And shout out to you, Griezmann. Big game for him here. As I said, I'm excited to see how we'll do in a system where he's just the cam with two in front of him. He's making a run there. Couldn't get him the ball, though. Oh, that's a nice interception, Mark Quinios. That is a fantastic one. Slips that there to Griezmann. Good block. Here comes Lorenek. Going on a bit off a run there. Now we've got Jao Felix. Slips that out wide to Correa. Just going to smash nope. it from that angle. Good save. Good reach by the keeper. Good hand. Good dive. Good footwork. Nice boots. Yeah, good delay on the right hand side. Now Jao Felix. So he's got a lot of space here. He's got the pace. He's moving forward. Jao Felix, what's he going to do? Can he finish it? Jao Felix, another good save. Who is it in goal? I, I doubt it's still Hugo Lloris. He's got a left foot there. So we go to hit it. It is Pickford. I said there'd be loads of goals. And uh, I wasn't wrong, was I? I mean, wow, this is incredible. Jao Felix, nice touch. Goes to shoot. Oh, what a goal. There we go. I knew that was going to go in. So it's been criticizing them for their goals. But last season, we did a lot of creating from the width, from the left wing, the right wing. And we've got to really change that up this season. So it probably wasn't the formation to switch to straight away. But we've got to do it now. We've committed to it. And that was a fantastic goal. Here comes Noddy. Ball over the top there for Correa. Goes to header it down. Okay, comes out. Lorene. I, I mean, is that for us? I hope it is. It is. Definitely not hitting that, though. To be fair, I hit one last episode. I didn't even make the video because it was so bad. But a knuckleball here. Griezmann, please. Just just be decent. Goes up. Ooh, okay. I, I kind of see how it works. At least we're very good defensively in this system. We don't really concede many goals. Ooh. Ooh, Gary Neville. Oh, no. Harry Kane turned his man. Goes to hit it. Good save. No, no, no. No, 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 the rebound, it's this fraud as well. Are you kidding me, man? Let's, let's play a game. Who could be the slowest defender to get to the rebound? Jimenez, what are you doing? You're not even sprinting, you're just running. Oh, look at that, look at that. Stayed on his feet, good stuff. Nice pass there, Correct. We're going to win this game, we have to win this game. Diego Simeone's going to go absolutely crazy. What, what's he doing there? Correct. bend it, go on. Oh, check that out. Pull that out the net. Fantastic. This is a goal and a half. There we go. Spurs with their rebound. We're scoring beautiful goals out here. Oh, that's a ball whipped in the box. Kane, rebound. Yeah, that should be it. That should be the win. We really need to sort out something. Maybe go to forward runs. We, we need to score more goals. Here's Felix coming forward. He's going to pull that out wide there to Delo. Griezmann's in the box. Power pass. Or oh, Joe Felix. Oh, he's missed it. That's the win. To be fair, fast build up forward runs. I Fail probably is the best option. It's a bit counter-attacking FC, but we do have a very good defense, and it works with this formation, so let's just do it. We now have Rayo Vallecano. It's a 4-0 win. Correct. Did he score a hat-trick? He didn't. He got a brace. So after five games in the league, we are top of the league. We've won five. Barcelona, two points behind us. They've drawn a game. Madrid are five points behind us after five. That, that's pretty big. So you'd expect Barcelona to be in a title race with us this season. I have applied a mod, so they have a slightly different kit. It is absolutely hideous, by the way. Kind of wish I didn't apply it, but we're going to have to make a few changes here. We have some tired squads. Lodi, we're going to bring in Reynaldo. Yeah, mate, still injured, so we can't bring him in. Guys, to be fair, Marino is 83 defending. He can play anywhere with them stats. He could even play at the back. We're going to start him there. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. I could save. Now, here's our turn to attack. Here's Angel Correa. Griezmann making a run. I'm going to drag it out wide, wait for people to kind of gather in the middle. Oh, he's done well there. Really well. Can move it on. Out wide there. Lorene. Nice overlap. Fantastic. This is what we want to do. Oh, that is so good. Woo! Oh, we're 1-0 down. That's not what we wanted. Check, check out that kit. It's dreadful. Looks like a, a an 80s disco outfit or something. That, that is a, uh, a terrible goal to concede. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get back. Great tackle. That's a nice pass there. Lorene. Renek, someone make a run over the top. Nice overlap. Diego Delo to finish nope. it. Oh, go on, rebound. Lorene blocked. Is anything going to happen in this game? We may have to actually revert back to our old formation. Ooh. 
okay, okay, okay. Please be close. Oh, man. Griezmann has 86 free kicks. I mean, you have to get it a lot higher and you have to put a hot... Oh, no, I've got to mess it up. He skied that. He has skied that. Why? Why, why, why? Left-footed players, I don't do from free kicks. We've been over this. No, 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 <laughs> no. Good save, good save. Got 60 minutes. We're 60 minutes in. It's 2 0, isn't it? Yeah, 2 0. Ooh, Barcelona. Barcelona, most beautiful club in Spain. They are back for the title race this season by the looks of it. Okay, Mark, when you ask, nice. Can we at least get a goal? That, that's a run. Depay. Yes, he's always oh, offside. Come on. Looks like this will be our first loss in La Liga this season. But we just can't get anything going here. We can't create anything. A I mean, look at that defense there by Kunde. We could see a third goal here before it ends. We will. Oh, what a save. Come on, get back up. Nice save. I just want to see one goal, please. Por favor. All over the top. Griezmann takes it down. Oh, come on, man. Do you want to go a little bit slower? Just a tad, and that's it. Useless. I mean, Felix still thinks he plays for Chelsea. I don't know what that's all about. You need to try here. You're playing for a proper football club. We weren't founded in 2004. This is Atletico Madrid. We could go back to this formation. That'd be interesting. We didn't really make the transfers to do this, though. It would be a bit strange. Give your suggestions down below. What, what do we do in this scenario? We right now are really struggling with this formation. Of course, the defense is doing well, as we have a five back. But going forward, we're not creating enough opportunities and we're just not finishing any. Of course, last season we were playing this, the 4-4-1-1 or 4 2 3 one it looks like. And we actually did really well, but we changed it to the other one so we could get John Felix into the side. He's 86 overall at 23. And we'd also have to drop a big center back like Jimenez to the bench. But right now we need to score more guys. I think the best decision is probably go back to this formation. After six games in La Liga, we've won five, lost one. And that one one loss was 2-0 to Barcelona. Now we have home game versus Villarreal, and it's a 3-1 win. Moreno Griezmann. Griezmann with a brace. We're back to the Champions League here, so we're going to rotate slightly. We've got Joe Felix at Cam. I don't think we've yet played with this away kit, have we? We've got Shakhtar Donetsk. We're away from home, and we get a 2-1 win. Correa and Correa again. Now, Joe Felix comes to Dio Simononi's office saying, Boss, I've seen you've changed the formation, and you've dropped me to the bench. Why have you done this? And Diego replies, well, we weren't creating enough opportunities and we weren't scoring enough goals. So we've had to go back to the 4-4-1-1. And unfortunately, in result of that, you're now on the bench. And Jao Felix is not happy. He replies saying, Boss, if you can't get me in the starting 11 on a regular basis, then I want to transfer out of here. I mean, some of you guys are saying you need to play him on the right-hand side. He could possibly play there. He's got 84 sprint speed, decent shooting, good dribbling. And he's now 87 overall, by the way. This guy somehow needs to get into the side. He really would be ashamed to sell him. Maybe on the left-hand side, he is right-footed, so that would make sense. He just can't replace Griezmann at Cam because he's so good, and Angel Correa up top. Well, he scores so many goals. We now have Valencia away in La Liga. We could possibly get him into the side in this one. To be fair, Lorene at center mid and Felix on the right-hand side. That could work. We'll try this for this game. I am confident we get a win here. They've got like half the points than us. We get a 2-0 win. Correa and Diego Delo. Chris scores every aim. Guys, Get your suggestions in the comments on what we should do. We're definitely going to sell him. He's 33. Also, if you guys are enjoying this series, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm not playing Felix in this game. I'll play him in the next one. We get a 3-0 win. Correa with a brace. Correa with a hat trick. I honestly don't think we've respected Correa enough in this series. He's played 10 games and scored 10 goals. Now, 87 overall. This guy was incredible last season. We questioned if we needed a proper number nine. Of course, we have that. If we do, we have Adeyemi. Three games is scored two goals, which is pretty good. But we will look to bring Felix back into this one because we now have Marseille away from home. Big game in the group stage. We've played 2-1-2, two, two, I believe. Uh, Depay's got a suspension, so he can't even make the bench for this one. I'm going to play Felix on the left-hand side. So he gets a plus one as a left mid, a plus two as a left winger. Okay. Cut inside, get in behind. I think he's going to have a good game here. He may find his new position. With 90 dribbling, surely he's going to be good. Here's Lorene. Okay. I mean, he nearly dribbled that out the pitch there. He's going to find Griezmann. He's got a left foot. Going to try bend it. Oh, here's a good opportunity for Felix. We slip him through. Jao Felix has got the <laughs> finish. Oh, defended it well. Now Angel Correa. Felix, I'm pretty sure he'd have been offside there. Have we got someone on the right? We do. Lorene. Big opportunity here. Pull that back there into the box. Nice chance. Correa goes nope. to hit one. Good save. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, look at this. Big chance. Here's Felix. Throw and goal. Surely, man, this is the goal. Here he is. His pace has let him down a little bit. Onto that right foot. Goes to hit it. It's really been a bit unlucky here. We get the goal. But Felix has had two great opportunities in this one. We do get the goal of Lorene. And that's it. That's 90 minutes. I think if we play Felix on the left, we need to improve that sprint speed. Okay, I've converted into a left winger. He's still 87 overall. We need to improve that sprint speed. Support winger. Sprint speed acceleration. The same with inverted winger. Is that what we want him to be? There's no way we can actually improve that weak foot, unfortunately. We'll put an inverted winger on him. We should hopefully see that sprint speed go up now. We're now south to Vigo, away from home, and we get a 1-0 draw. That is not a game we want to drop points in. We have a game in hand on top of the league, Barcelona. If we win, we go one point behind them, as we'll be on 28. And we have Almeria at home. We have to be winning. We get a 3-0 win. Firmino, Delo, and Correa. Now we get a 4-0 win versus Betis. Lorena picks up a slight knock. And Correa, but Griezmann scores a hat trick. Lorena is out for three days, and Correa is out for 10. Okay, that is a relief. Unfortunately, Correa will miss this game versus Marseille. We'll play Adiemi up top, and to be fair, yeah, we're not going to start. Lorena on the right is slightly tired. If we win here, I'm pretty sure we qualify. Here's a chance for Carrasco. Look at Adiemi running there. Oh, we play the ball to him. He's going to get there. Adiemi is going to pull that back. Nice bit of play. Now Carrasco slips it to him. Still Carrasco. It's a run there by DePaul. We get the ball to him. Finish. Rebound. Nope. Oh, what a save. That really was a good opportunity, and we did well. Hicks Antonio, what a save. Oh, okay, that's a beautiful pass there at wide to Felix. I feel this formation is just so much better. We slip that there to Adiemi. Adiemi out wide for Carrasco. Come on, man. Oh, they're done. This is a goal. This is a goal. I'd normally pass shot. This is left footed. Okay, left foot. Adiemi hits it. Oh, what a goal. Yeah, no chances missing that. A uh, new striker. Big signing for this season. Makes it one now. Ooh. Chance to make it 2-0 here. Griezmann is going to panenka this down the middle. Oh, no, you're joking. Oh, man, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. We get this one in the box. Header over the bar. That's it. 90 minutes. A 1-0 win. We get another 1-0 win. Marino versus Sevilla. We're just about winning these games. Guys, I've just sold this guy and he's off in January. But I thought left mid, I recognize the name. Now, FIFA 17, I had like 89 days with all the hours added up of how much I played. And as you can see from the screen, this guy was 83 overall. He had some really good stats. And now he's 70 rated. He has fallen off a cliff. But Athletic Bilbo are having a really good season. We got a 3-0 win. We now have Tottenham away from home. Take a look at that squad. They've made a couple of signings. Jaquazi at right wing. Chris Smalling at center back. You'd think Jose Mourinho is still there. To be fair, Ayemi did really well in his last game. But Correa's back, so we'll start him. I know it doesn't get a plus rating, but we're going to get Firmino on this side. This away kit actually looks really, really nice. Must be a badge from what they had like, I don't know, 60 years ago or so. Is DePaul on the ball. Through the gap there to Correa. Nice bit of play. Now through the gap again to Lorene. Good defense. But tough game here against... Ooh, that's a big ball in behind there for Kane. Whee! Goes to Lobos and he makes it one now. What on earth am I doing there with the keeper? That is a dreadful, dreadful bit of defense by Marquinhos. Kane is world-class striker. Might find himself in La Liga next season with Real Madrid. That's a nice tackle, Marquinhos. There we go. That's what we like to see of him. His Griezmann. As I was saying before they scored, big game here. Tough opponent. Big stadium. If we want to get a good result here or even get back into the game, we're going to have to play well. Pass there to Firmino. Nice touch. The finish. That's a block. Is correct. Goes to nope. bend it. What a save. That's a ball whipped in. Oh, what a save again, Lloris. Ball out wide there to Felix. Nice touch. Here he goes. Jao Felix pulls it back onto that right foot. Makes a pass there. Firmino goes to shoot. What was that? Here's Lorena out wide. Griezmann making the run through the gap. Antoine Griezmann. What a touch. What a goal. 1-1, oh, Atletico Madrid. Antoine Griezmann with the equality. Gets a silly celebration out. Fantastic goal there. Slip through. The touch was good. Finish was good. I think the keeper may have got a hand to that, but didn't keep it out. Here's Felix. Oh, that's a gap there for Correa. The equalizer. Or oh, to go ahead. 2-1. Angel Correa just before the break. Spurs. What an F have they done in this? Call them Vitolo. They've fallen off a cliff. Is your run eight. Now Griezmann, ball over the top. A third goal would just be silly here. Correa pulls it back. Griezmann near post. Come on, rebound. We just do play a whole lot better with this formation. Is Lottie out wide? 
onto that left foot. Can he beat Emerson? That won't reach his compilation. Ball with 10. Oh, that was a big clearance. Oh, no. His son. Oh, what a big chance. Oh, what a goal. What a goal, son. That is a seriously good goal. He got the ball, just kept on running. I thought, yeah, we're eventually going to close him down. And we just didn't. And he puts it top corner. Oh, that's a tackle for Mino. Joe Felix coming forward. Can he slip that to someone? He can. And go Correa. Surely now a third goal. Correa with the finish. No. Here we go again. Antoine Griezmann now slips that for Correa. Correa, good touch, pulls it back, still Correa, Griezmann, good touch, the finish, oh, it's at the post. Man, we're getting so close to scoring these goals, it's Correa, got it, nice, look at Firmino, he's in a nice bit of space there, Felix, oh, top corner, what a goal, Joe Felix, defensively, not amazing in this one, but I tell you what, going forward, we are really doing well at creating the chances and finishing them, check out that. Oh, oh, what a save. 15 minutes to win this. If we conceded that, that would have been bad news. Oh, please, 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 please tell me we've got a free kick. Oh, look at this. You know what I say about right-footed players. We just don't do it. No, no one else can take free kicks. Okay, we're bringing on Memphis to pie for this one because he has some real good free kicks. He's right-footed. Okay, we lift it up a little bit there. We get a decent amount of power on it. They've taken a man out the wall for some reason. It's at the top of the bar. Fuming. Oh, that's a foul. That's a real bad foul. Oh, red card. Ben Tanker. Oh, it just goes from bad to worse for Spurs. Now what happens when your club is located in North London? Just London in Hull, to be fair. Embarrassing clubs. Only one of them has a Champions League trophy. It's Moreno. He's going to bend it from there on his right foot. Easy save. And that's it. 3-2 with Three points in the bag. With one game left to play, we have won five games so far. So we're definitely in the round of 16 already. We could finish on 18. Points. We just need to beat Shakhtar. But back to the Liga, we get a 3 0 win. Now Espanyol at home. We lose 2 1. Are you kidding me, man? What on earth are we doing there? If we had won that game, we'd have been top of the league, by the way. Clear by a point, we get a 3 0 win. So we do get 18 points in the UCL. After 16, Barcelona are top of the league, two points ahead of us. And Madrid are third, three points below us. So this game here versus Madrid away is massive. If we lose this, the tired race slips away even more. It will only be 17 games played, so maybe not. You know, Barcelona, sexiest club in Spain, are really going for it this year. That's oh, Firmino. Nice touch there. Griezmann. Gets that there to Jao Felix. Nice bit of play. Now back to Griezmann. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, we play some attractive football. I tell you that. Lorraine, 1 0. There we go. Take that, Madrid. Go boo your best players. What a goal that is. On his left foot as well. Fantastic. Great start. Oh, no. Look at this. Here's Benzema on the ball. That's a Nice pass. Oh, if he bent that in like that, that would have been superb. I want a clean sheet in this game. I want to beat, uh, I mean, as I go, pass them the ball. That's about to say I want to score four goals as well. We're passing them the ball. I don't think we're quite going to do that. Oh, look at that. Valverde is in behind. He's definitely got the pace. He's got the finishing. Good defense to low. Oh, no. Every time we play the man, Vinicius has to score. Look at that for an equalizer. What are we doing? We just swished up at the back. Is Lottie. Now we've got Jao Felix. Jao Felix onto that right. Nice bit of play. Go on, bend it from there. Jao Felix! Oh, no! It's at the post. Go on, win that header. Nice. Correa takes it down. Smash it in the post. There we go! What a goal! And go, Correa! I'm always, we're in the lead again. Look at that. That is just pure class. What a player. Oh, no. It's a ball in behind there for Fede Valverde. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Yes, what a save. Get that out. So we have 13 minutes to win this game. Game. A third goal would be absolutely massive. And Lorene, oh, he's done so well. He scored the first goal, of course. He, scored, he could score the third. He has. What a goal. It's won it. It's finished. Three points in the bag. Pretty sure they're Madrid fans. They probably would do that anyway. Ooh, good save. Good save. Oh, okay. They get a goal back. It's fine. It's fine. It's 3 2. We've won it. Go celebrate. Play your silly song. But we have won this game. Three points in the bag. But we're still second in the league. And Barcelona keep winning. They haven't even lost a game yet this season. If we win, we go a point behind them. And it's Girona. Girona, have you said the name? We get a 3-0 win. So we have one more game before the January window opens. We have 144 million to spend. This is a possibility that it's our last transfer window before the series ends. Right, look at this. Opportunity to port. We chip it up. We, we hit it. Oh! 
Last episode, we switched back to this formation of 4-2-3-1, and we're now playing Felix on the left wing. He, of course, said to Diego Simeone, if he's not a regular starter, then he wants to be sold. In 21 appearances, he has four goals, six assists. He's now 87 overall with converting to a left winger. Hopefully now in this new position, he can start playing better. As you guys know, we're a couple of days away from the January window. With 143 million to spend, I'd say get your suggestions down below. This could be our very last transfer window. The question is, where do we make an improvement? Improvement. You guys were suggesting left back. We have Lodi and Ronaldo. 81 and 82. So you guys were suggesting Tio Hernandez, Alfonso Davies, the best left backs in the world, of course. Opposite center back and right back, we're fine. Going into the midfield, we're good. Going forward, we're good. To be fair, I'd find it really boring if we were to go sign a left back for our very final signing. And we have signed these guys a million times already. Now, I have an interesting suggestion. Sadio Mane at Bayern Munich. He's 31, 88 overall, of course course, Bayern Munich want to sell him. This would be an interesting deal, but how would we get it done? We can't spend more than 50 million. And where would we play him? That's the other question. Correa's up top, Felix is on the left, and Lorene is on the right-hand side. My suggestion is we play Lorene at center mid. He can do that. We put Felix on the right-hand side and put Mane on the left. We could swap Memphis to Pies, worth 66 million, or Yannick Carrasco, who's worth 32. Of course, we're aiming to win the Champions League this year. I really do think this signing could help us win that Champions League. Of course, he's already done it before. So, wingers, who do we swap? Carrasco's worth 32 million. So, if we offer Carrasco plus, I don't know, 25... To, nah, that's too low. 28 million plus Carrasco. Bayern Munich wants 75. They don't even want Carrasco. Okay, we're going to have to swap to Pi. Memphis to Pi plus 2 million, and they don't even want him. But no one wants to come and play in your Farmers League anyway. 50 million plus 20% Salon Clause. They think about it. They think about it. I cannot believe that. Which means they'll come back and say, yes, you can have him. Meanwhile, whilst we wait for that, we have Osasuna here. We get a 3-0 win. And Bayern Munich come back and it sucked it. That's hilarious. Every time they stall it and they end up coming back saying, yep, your offer is fine. Pretty sure that was not always the case. We can sign a yeah two-year deal with him. Of course, his time at Bayern Munich hasn't been the best. 180k a week, a 200k signing on bonus. That should get the job done. And it does. And here he is in his new shirt, his new colours. He's always played for a team that has red in it. From Southampton to Liverpool to Bayern Munich, now to Atletico Madrid. There he is on the left wing. He's got 88 dribbling. Yeah, he's definitely going to do well. He's not the quickest, but he can definitely do a job on the left. Felix, left wing, right wing. I mean, same thing. I've only just realised, but we're now top of the league. We're ahead of Barcelona by one point. They've obviously dropped points somewhat, but I didn't notice. Of course, last episode, we wrapped up the Champions League group. As you can see, we played six. 1 6, 18 points. And now in the round of 16, we're facing Paris Saint Germain. That's not going to be an easy game. We will get to that in today's episode. We get a 4 0 win there. Does Mane score? He doesn't. We have the Super Copa de España semi final here. I don't believe this is the cup. I think it's like the Community Shield of Spain. Jao Felix, that should be a goal. Yeah, that's a great finish. 1 0 already. Atletico Madrid. Great goal, Felix. Oh, Sadio Mane. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got the strength. He's got the pace. Has he got the no. Finish. What a tackle. I really thought that that would have been 2-0 there. Here he is again on the left-hand side. I feel this guy would tear La Liga up. Here he is on his right foot. Still got it. Still Sadio Mane is moving into the box. Makes that pass. Couldn't get the shot off. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to get a win here. Please don't tell me this is two legs this semi-final. That is just silly if it is. Three's money. Missed one last episode. Panenka's that. Top right-hand corner. That was filthy. 2-0. Sadio Mane. I really want to get that goal with him. Make it 3-0 as well. Slips that to Griezmann. I'm just going to smash that there. Nice hand. That's it. That's full time. Just the 2-0 win, but that better be the only leg. Don't be a second leg. Oh, well, we now have the final versus Real Madrid. That works well. So here is a real good opportunity to win a trophy. How do we line up? Do we get DePaul in there? To be fair, I think our best lineup is probably with Marino and put him in a more defensive position. He's got 83 defending. That's really good. I swear every time we play these guys, they always score, don't they? Yeah, we're 1-0 down already. Ray out just own Atletico. We know that. But it's every game. Pretty sure this would be our first trophy in this series, by the way. We went trophyless last season. We have to score here 
out, it's over. Go on, Correa. Yeah, we'll slip you the ball there. Felix in a nice position. We pull this back. Edge your box there, Griezmann. Now Lorene turns his man. Go on, smash it nope. in. Post hole was saved. Are you kidding me? We have another chance. Oh, look at that run there, Correa. Look at that. Yes, through the gap. Oh, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Mane making the run there. We move that out wide. It's Delo out wide. Still Delo. Nice pass now. Felix, no. Uh, Benzema, free kick. We're going to get this away and that will probably be game. And it is. How disappointing. We lose again to Madrid. Now, Aston Villa coming for Carrasco. Of course, we signed Mane, so we are going to look to sell him now. I recently did sign a new two-year deal with him. And then straight away, it's just getting sold. 41 and a half million is what I'm going to count it. They say yes to that. That's fine. We got a 1-0 win now against Sevilla. Correa with the goal. He's having a really good season. 27 appearances, 18 goals, 2 assists. Guys, I don't agree. Griezmann is just different gravy. In 29, he's got 18 goals, 15 assists. This guy is world class. Back to La Liga playing a by It's a 5-1 win. Pereira, Griezmann, Memphis. No man a goal, though. Now we have a cup game here. A 3-0 win. We get the job done. I have just realized, by the way, we have reunited Sadio Mane with Roberto Firmino. Two Liverpool legends, could you say? I don't know if Firmino is. Let me know in the comments. Levante now in the cup. We're flying through these rounds. A 2-0 win. Now Granada the quarterfinal, a 3-1 win. And now we think Sociedad 4-1 in La Liga. Oh, this is definitely our year in La Liga. After 23 games, we're now five points clear from Barcelona. Now we're top, we're not going to move. And talking to Barcelona, we have a massive semi-final in the cup here. And we do have a couple of injuries, suspensions. Felix going to have to start possibly Adeyemi. I mean, that'd be an interesting player to play on the right. We'll, we'll try that. Get Moreno into the side as well. Here's Paul. Now Griezmann on the ball. Oh, we can slip that there for Correa. Big chance. He's going to pull that back. Now in the box. That's why Griezmann. What a goal there. Versus his former club. Yeah, that's probably not the celebration to be doing. Versus your former club. So Barcelona now trail. They want to get themselves back in it. Oh, what a save. Firmino's on the pitch now. Okay, the game passed it for me. Amazing game. Oh, please be on side. He's just off. Is Sadio Mane on the left-hand side? Uh, do you know what? We can try again. What? What on earth is that? I'm trying to go for a Travella. Not not a skill pass. And that's it. That is game. We are in a Copa de España final or Copa del Rey. And we're not because it's two legs. Why on earth would you have a cup that is two legs in the semi-final? Is Sadio Mane turning out to be a flop signing, by the way? Please be Mane. It's Griezmann. Ha he hasn't even scored a goal yet. But we signed him to win the Champions League. So he's here to do that. We have Real now two days and then the first leg versus PSG. So we will rotate. In fact, we'll rotate as much as we can. Real away from home. Do we get a win? A 1-1 draw. Are you kidding me? So here it is. The round of 16. Take a look at that squad. They're always playing this formation. They've got a good defense, good midfield, good attack. Kylian Mbappe, of course, is very good. But Sadio Mane, please be up for this. This is why we signed you. The most dominant club in Champions League history, PSG. And they bottle it again. We win 2-1. The first leg. Griezmann with a brace. Bonjour, je bow. Despite getting that draw, we are six points clear top of the league. We, we're going to win the league this year. And no one is going to stop us. Great. Okay, soon as I say that, we go lose 3-2 to Rabadis. Oh, look, Barcelona, they have Victor Ozyman up top. It's a very good signing, to be fair. Probably to replace Lewandowski, but we are in a final. Second leg goal. What an amazing two leg of football. One goal. We're only three points clear. And, oh, you're joking. What, what, what are we doing? Doing. You have to be having a laugh right now, right? Real Madrid, they're going to win the next game. And we are one point clear. We were six. And now we have to rotate it a little bit because we have PSG after this. The Champions League is more important. Still a very strong side. When we do rotate, this side normally does win. Granada, you can't be losing to them. 3 0 on Ronaldo. He, he's got an injury. How did he get the ambulance sign? And he's only out for 13 days. But here's the second leg. Time to get the job done. And we don't have a left back. Great. We, we don't have a left back to play. That is amazing. Okay, we're going to have to play a right back there and we'll get Condogbia on the bench. To be fair, he's got 70 paces left footed. He could quite easily play left back. Fine. Here we go. We are winning by one goal. PSG. Bonjour, je m'appelle Baguette. Oh, okay, Immobile. Uh, you're having a laugh. No, 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 no. Just get this out. Oh, here's a good counter attack. Get that one. Oh, what a what a stunning ball that was. Delo to the byline. Dinks it up. In the box. Needed a clearance there. An early goal goal would be massive in a game like this where we're only winning by one goal. Mane, turn your man. Strong bit of play. Goes to hit it. Wider goal. Oh, yeah. 
Mark Winios versus his former club as well. Sadio Mane, Mr. Champions League. At least that's what he's here to do. Okay, no real options here. Griezmann over the top. <laughs> Header, easy save. I am worried that Mane is going to just not score or assist at all this season. That would be probably the worst signing we've ever made. To be fair, last season, we did seem to play a whole lot better. Create more opportunities, score more goals. I feel we're defending better this season, though. Oh, look at that from Hakimi. Get that away. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to sweat nope. it. Oh, what a save. No. Oh, I thought that was going in. 20 minutes. I tell you what, this is like watching a Jose Mourinho side right now. We just need to hold on to one goal, and there's not a chance we're scoring one. Defense FC. I mean, oh, yes, get it away. This really is Atletico football. Oh, no, Neymar. That will be it. Yeah, that's the point. He's offside. That's it. Sit down. And that's it. That is full time. 90 minutes. Champions League quarter final. Here we come. That was a messy game, I tell you that. Okay, we've got to change something up tactically. We really have. We're playing a high depth. I mean, defensively, we're fine. It's just whatever we're doing going forward. Fast build up, maybe slow build up instead of possession. Make four forward runs. Maybe we've actually got too many players in the box, so we don't have enough players to build it out. We'll, we'll try that. I mean, we're so much better last season. We have Alves now. 2-0 win. Firmino, it's been a great signing. And Correa. Still winning by one goal in the league, though. 2-0 win. We cannot be dropping any points as Real Madrid will bite us. Lorena and Correa. We now have Manchester United in the quarterfinal. The other legs look like that. Juventus, Leipzig, Roma, Chelsea, Liverpool, Madrid. Oh, United have got Ivan Tony up top. And apart from that, no other signings. That's the lineup. We'll be going out with our strongest side. Here comes the first leg away from home. It's a 1 1 draw. Rashford and Jao Felix. Jao Felix is uh, really picking up his stats this season, by the way. 11 goals, 10 assists. I mean, not as good as you'd want. Them seven goals, one assist for Mane, by the way, uh, for Bayern, not for us. We get a 2 0 win versus Gratafe, Adiemi, and Molina. So, with seven games left to play, we are still one point clear from Madrid. I mean, Barcelona have really fallen off. I mean, what if they done. But second leg now. Look at that. They're now playing a Nesri up top. So they signed two strikers. They've got Hoiberg at CDM. Do we make any changes? Do we even start Sadio Mane? This guy's done nothing since we signed him. I mean, this side of this episode has been so painful at just creating opportunities. So I don't know how this is going to go. Is Antoine Griezmann on the ball. It's got that left foot. Bend it. Put enough power on it. Keep it in, Felix. Get it straight back in. Lobbed it. Mane header. Griezmann. Oh, how on earth has that gone in? United have made a mistake. Take there. Whipped in. What, what's gone wrong? Keeper go for it. Defender go for it. I tell you that. The David De Gea agenda at United. They'll be loving that. They'll be looking at that and saying, look, you can see. He can't play out the back. Griezmann. Angel Correa slips that in behind there for Jao Felix. Big opportunity. Comes into the box. Still Jao Felix. Going to go all the way. Makes a pass to Griezmann. Oh, what a start to this game. 20 minutes in. And we're winning by two goals. Jao Felix. I mean, what a bit of play on the right-hand side there. Easy tapping for Griezmann. His second goal this game. There is Antoine Griezmann. Okay. Nice bit of ball there. Gets it out wide for Felix. We're playing so well here. We are. Oh, look at that. Jao Felix. Dink it in the box. Box. Get a header on that. Now I've got Delo out wide. Felix Griezmann back out to Felix. What a bit of play. Joe Felix straight down the middle. We're playing like prime Barcelona here. Sadio Mane. We're going to go for a long one there. Pass shot. Oh, I tell you what. He could go from being a flop signing to everybody remembers that goal in the quarterfinal. That is so close. Look at that. Nice header there by Lorena. Joe Felix. He finds Griezmann. Back out wide to Joe Felix. Back to Griezmann. Oh, handball. Potential penalty. Man United in the mud right now. Ball whipped up. Look at that. He's not even looking at the ball. So that, that I mean, he's not looking at it. Is his hand in a natural position? Yes, it is. That's not a pen. Here's Lorena. Oh, please be on side. He is. He is. It's Sadio Mane to finish it. There we go. He gets his goal. It's 4-1. He does it in the Champions League. He's one of the top goal scorers in the Champions League this season. He may not be doing it in La Liga, but he's doing it here. Look at that. Fantastic finish. Okay, here he is again on the left-hand side. Let's just get something going like a pass shot. Could have been a handball. It's gone for United. They've got 20 minutes here. It'd be one of the best comebacks ever if they were to win this. All right, look at this. Opportunity to port. We chip it up. We, we hit it. Oh, look at that. Cool 
me, Joe9716. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Chip did a power shot, looping power shot. Be fair, for Joe, that would just be an average goal. But that is insane. We are in the semifinals in style after that. Oh, please keep the clean sheet. Marcus Rashford. Oh, I don't believe it. Bruno Fernandes. And that is full time. There we go. This is big for this club. They've made three finals before and they've lost every single one of them. Two to Real Madrid, by the way. We're not in a final yet, though. We've still got a semi-final to come. And that semi-final is against Juventus. Oh, I think you know what that final's gonna be. It's gonna be Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. We lose that. I'll cry. Yeah, and by the way, if we stumble just once in the next seven games, we've basically handed over the league to Real Madrid. But we have a Copa del Rey final versus Real Sociedad. In today's video, we could win the Champions League. We're in a semi-final playing Juventus. Madrid are playing Roma. So in both ties, if the favourites win, we'll have the Madrid Derby final. And with seven games left in the league, we're clear by one point off Madrid. We cannot drop any points, else they will win it. And we also have a cup final versus Real Sociedad. So the treble is on the line. We haven't yet won a trophy in this series, by the way. This squad is looking really strong. Of course, last episode, we signed Sadio Mane. And that really hasn't been a great signing. He's only scored one goal for us. Says he's got eight goals, one assist. But they were when he was at Bayern in the Champions League. We have Corona here away from home. And it's a 3-0 win. There we go. That is what we want to be doing in the league. Getting the job done. Now, of course, a lot of you guys have put comments down below of what you want the next Kuromo to be. A lot of you guys have said Arsenal. And to be fair, that is a great suggestion. They've got a really fun squad, a young squad. They're obviously in a title race. I feel like it's very unfair to say they bottled it, but they did. A big season for them next in the 2023-2024 season, which the career mode would be around. I could get my kit maker to make the new kits. And of course, we sign players like Declan Rice, etc. To get suggestions down below, do you want to see Arsenal or someone else? But right now, we have Madrid. They're still a point below us. This is a massive game. I mean, if we drop points, if we lose, draw. Yeah, I just kiss goodbye to the title. And we have a chance early on here. DePaul. Mane. Good touch. On his right. Hits it. Good save. Oh, that's a nice bit of play. Here's Benzema in the box. What a tackle. To be fair, of course, we can draw this game. Just don't lose it. That, that is it. If we get a win, that is absolutely massive. Ball whipped in. Go on, keeper. Be on it. Safe hands. Oh, we break here with Sadio Mane. Get that ball up there for Correa. Good touch. Felix. First time. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, no. There's no way. There's no way there's a pen Madrid. I, I, I don't believe it. Benzema with the goal. 1-0. We need this goal. We need this goal. Else the title is pretty much gone. They're not going to drop points again. We pass the ball to them and that's it. Oh man, we've bottled that. And as you can see, they're now two points ahead of us. Top of the league. That is so disappointing, man. But we have a chance to put a smile on the fans face here with a win versus Sociedad. Our first trophy and to be fair, Sadio Mane has missed the Champions League for us. He's only scored one goal in it. We signed him to win that competition. We're going to start Marino at uh, the more defensive midfield position. Come on, we have to be winning this. Of course, we scored that absolute screamer last episode. We want to try do that again. Okay, yes, here we go. Shot. Oh, what a save. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? That is a better way to score sometimes than just building it up. Especially when you do this and you go edge your box and just hit it first time. Oh, it took a block. Oh, no, you can't be turning the ball over like that. That was a massive interception, Marquinhos. Really just not done anything this game, have we? It's the pie out wide. Come on, create something, please. Nice pass there. Lorene. Now we've got Carrera. Here we are in the box. Back to that. Lorene, that's the goal. One now. We get the opener. We finally create something. I tell you what, that was a really well worked goal. Nice finish. One now. That's a run by Felix, though. Oh, beautiful control. Gets that out wide there for Delo. We've got someone back post. It's Depay. Takes it down for the second goal. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, are you kidding me? That was something else. I want everybody on that left-hand side sucks, don't they? Here's Depay. Come on. Come on. Show me that you don't actually suck. Pulls it back. Still got it. 
Going to try find the angle. Easy save. Oh, that's a nice tackle there, Felix. Gets it out wide there for Memphis Depay. Now to Angel Correa to win it. Finish it off. And he's done exactly that. With five minutes to go, it's 2-0 Atletico. That will be our first trophy in the bag. Great ball out wide there to Depay. Depay gets an assist. So at least he does something. Is Felix. Ball over the top there for Correa. Take it down. Beautiful. Angel nope. Correa. Oh, man. This team. Oh, we could score so many goals if we could actually finish. And that's game. There we go. We are champions of the cup. Oh, this trophy has been updated or is it a glitch? I mean, it's matte black at the bottom. That looks pretty cool with the chrome. Well, we are champions of the whatever it is. What is it? It's not the Copa de España. That's the other one. This is the Copa del Rey. There we go. Vamos. Oh, I could have probably rotated there. We now have the first leg versus Juventus. This is absolutely massive. Griezmann, do we start him? I mean, Firmino does score when we play him. What are the chances, guys, that he scores here? We're going to put Adiemi on the right-hand side. He's capable of doing that. Lorene slightly tied. You know, we'll play Mane on the left. I said to start Lorene, but we're just going to go out like that. This is the Juventus squad. They've got Vlahavic still up top. Neves and Didi but they've got a good side, good defense. Not going to be an easy game. And we get a 3 1 win. Sadio Mane to Paul and Jimenez. Mane gets the job done again. Oh, Madrid are losing 2 1. I, I, they've still got a second leg. But to be fair, I do want to play them in the final. They own Atletico. They've already lost two finals in the past to them. So do we actually want to play them? But before the second leg, we have this game. We have rotated Espanol. It's a 3 1 win. Felix, Memphis, and Marino. We have the second leg now. They have have made a few changes. We're going to have to make one big change up top. Correa, he's got a suspension. We've got to play Adiemi up top. That's the only change you're going to make. Oh, great. These kits don't clash at all, do they? If we happen to bottle this game, by the way, uh, it's, it's just not happening. It just doesn't happen. That is a tackle and a half. Oh, great. He's injured. He's picked up an injury. Thank you. Oh, that's a bad pass there. We chip it up for Griezmann. Back to Adiemi. Here's to Paul. Goes to big one on the top of the bar. Madrid coming so close to the fourth there is Vlahovic on the ball. Kostic, build it up. Nice opportunity for Juventus. They get a goal back. It's 3-2. There is hope in Turin. This is Jorge Summing, I think. That is a fantastic finish. Top corner. Don't bottle it. Please, just don't bottle this. Is Sadio Mane. gone? on. Adiemi slipping behind. Oh, come on, man. Go to the side of him. Oh, it's Vlahovic. Oh, no. What are we doing? What on earth are we doing? We cannot bottle this. Just get this ball out. We need this goal. That's a nice pass there to Felix. Adiemi making the run. He's got the speed. He's, he's got all the pace to do this. The dribbling, dribbling ability. Has he got the finish though? Yes, he has. Get in. 4-2 on aggregate. That's almost just a relief, that is. Hopefully that will stop the momentum of Juventus. We are in the 63rd minute. That's a ball. I tell you what, that was a ball. Oh, Adiemi. You're right. We should have played him more. Griezmann's there. Good bit of space. Takes it. Felix to win it. Oh, no. He stood at Dembele. Come on, man. 15 minutes to play. Vlahovic. Nope. Oh, what a massive save. And that, that should be it. We're moments away from officially being in a Champions League final, folks. Probably facing Real. I don't see Roma getting that second leg down. Nice tackle there. Blow it, ref. And there we go. Champions League final. Juventus put up a fight in the second leg. Unlike the first, but we get the job done. We now play Cadiz, and it's a 2-0 win. Mane with a goal. Wow. Ah, oh, Madrid still leading by two points. Three games to go. And in the Champions League, we are facing Real Madrid. They won the second leg. 2-0. 3-2 on aggregate. That's a close one. I mean, fair play to Roma. I don't know the exact name for this game, but a Madrid derby. Let's call it that. Barcelona is our next opponent in La Liga. And they have a very good side. They've added Bastoni to the defense as well. Right. This is not how we wanted to start this one off. I'm going to go to the left here. Levin goals. Nope. Okay, there we go. Knew I had to move the keeper before I dive. Because he puts so much power on them. Here's Sadio Mane. Still Mane. Mane has he got the finish. Rebound. Mane get in. Oh, this guy really is starting to score now. Okay, the last time I took a knuckleball free kick. Why are they clapping? That's only when Messi does it, right? Okay. We're, we're going to line this one up. We're going to try that. He goes over the... That, that's just dreadful, isn't it? But that's it. We get a win. Three points in the bag. And we have Rayo Balacano away. And it's a 3-1 win. Mane again. Griezmann and Felix. And we have Rayo Vallecano away from home. It's a 2-0 win. Mane scores again, but Mane gets a brace. Look at this. Jan or 
Twilight leading the clean sheets with 24 in the lead. Transfer value is 144 million, I think I just said. And we are still two points behind Madrid. It comes down to the last game of the season. We need them to lose or draw and we can win on goal difference. That is possible. In fact, no, it's not because goal difference doesn't work in the league, does it? It comes down to head to head. But our opponent, we have to win this. It's Osasuna. And here's a chance for DePaul early on. Lays that off for Correa. Ooh. Oh, man. That's not that's not far out enough or close enough. Ah, oh, this is going to be a tough one. We're going to have to really get around this. Put a bunch of power. Come on, DePaul. Get around that. He's hit it decently. Keep got a, a hand to it. Oh, but here's Jao Felix. This is a big chance. Can he finish it here? Jao Felix. Power shot. Goes for it. Top left-hand corner. That is a fantastic goal. We're in the lead. 1-0. Okay, there's a lot of whistling and booing in this. It's rather interesting. Tense. Just lift this one into the box, Felix. Get a lofty one there. Oh, what a ball. That's a, that's incredible. Here's Carrera on the ball. Slips that out wide for Felix. Back to Carrera. Carrera on his left. Goes to hit one. Easy save. And that is the end of the game. The season wrapped. To the oh, no. There's no way. Wait, you're celebrating second spot. There's no way Madrid lost. They did. We've won the lead. There's no way. I don't believe this. I, I, I need to see what happened. But we have won La Liga by a point or maybe they drew. I don't I don't know. I'm pretty sure they beat us twice in the league this season. But Marquinhos to lift the title. La Liga in the bag. Look at that. That's a massive trophy. We are champions. Wow. As you can see, Atleti Bilbao beat Madrid 3-1. And thanks to them, we won the league by a point with 96. Last season, we got 98, was it? I think we lost the league on goal difference. That is two incredible seasons back to back. So we now have the chance to win the treble versus Real Madrid, our rivals. I'm sorry, but we've got to do it on our home kit. I mean, Mane is really getting into some good form right now. Mr. Champions League, we signed him to win it. We're going to start Moreno. A bit more of a defensive player. I'm hyped for this, man. Look at that Real side. They've got so many good players. Pereira at right back is their only signing. But can we get the job done here at the San Siro? Real Madrid have won how many? 13, 14? It's 14, isn't it? That is just really ridiculous. I think they've only ever lost two Champions League finals. But here's Griezmann. Early on, gets it across the box. Oh, we could have done a whole lot better there. Here comes Lottie on the left-hand side. To be fair, Correa's in a really good spot here. Oh, he's got so much space. I go, Correa, can he finish it? Can he finish it? Oh, yes, he can. I go, Correa, the backsman, two seasons in a row, gets the opener in the Champions League final. I don't know what the defender was doing there. Big mistake. It's Pereira, the new signing. But Correa has had the bottle. He finished it. Oh, they're passing us the ball at this point. Oh, maybe them losing the title has just, you know, really hurt them with the morale. The fans, the Real Madrid fans. Oh, they'll be booing more than anything. They'll be booing legends like usual. Mane spins his man. Mane in the box. Mane from this angle. It's 2-0. There's no way. Oh, Sadio Mane, the player who we signed to win us this competition, really has stepped up in the last four or five weeks or so. Oh, they, they turned the ball over. Madrid have so much work to do in this one. They want to get back. Look at that space there for Correa. Whipped in and go. Correa! Oh, it's offside. It could be 3-0. Okay, it's a breakaway opportunity for Madrid. Oh, that's a big ball there for Benzema. Could be a goal. Should be a goal. Is a goal. Oh, we've got that horribly wrong at the back there. I don't know why I committed with number three. I should have gone to Benzema. Even if I did, it was probably too late. What are we doing? Rare ball out wide there for Sadio Mane. Mane coming forward. Still Mane. Sadio Mane! Oh, he's missed it. Oh, man. That was a big chance. Here come Madrid. Sabayas now Valverde. He's got a ball to be played in behind there for Rodri. Rodrigo's messed that up. Imagine Valverde and Lorena in the same team, by the way. There's a lot of people. Back post. Joe Felix. Surely. Oh, how on earth did Rudiger get that away? So 15 minutes to play. One goal between the sides. One goal in mind for both sides. And that is to get their hands on this trophy. Joe Felix. Do it in style. Get that third in style. Hits it over the bar. Oh, Benzema. No, 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 no. Come on. Get back. Good tackle. Big tackle. Griezmann. 
This should be it. This should be it. A third goal would sell the deal. And Gal Correa, nope. what a save. Referee, blow it. Please, blow it. Blow it. We're Champions League champions for the first time. Beating Real, the third time we meet them in this competition. The fourth. It's three times they've lost to them. 2013, 14, 15, 16. And then something in like 1966 or something. Sadio Mane, one of the main men in this Champions League win, by the way. I would say that's not a flop signing at all. Maybe we uh, move them on in the summer if we were doing a, a third season. We're not, though. This is the series complete. This is the series wrapped up now. There we go. Red and blue on the trophy. Champions League champions. Atletico de Madrid. Vamos. What a win that was. Especially versus Real. These and stats. Correa got one more goal than last season. But 26, 27. I mean, that's, that's very, very good. 29 and 20 for Griezmann is insane. Mane got 10 goals in the Champions League. That's massive. 14 and 1. Don't really know how to look at that. He probably got more goals at Bayern in the league and stuff. And 13, 17 for Felix. That's, that's a good season. We built an incredible side in this series. If you guys have enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new, turn the bell. I want to see Arsenal next. Let me know in the comments. Anyone else? Let me know in the comments. Next video should be a movie on the Man United series. So excited for that. Turn the bell on. If you want to see a Barcelona career mode on my second channel, click here.